let's get started with the run. And just a reminder, this is a 100% speedrun, but this is the category where we only do the main game, so no DLC included in this run. Because <clears throat> uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because as I've been working on get sub 7 hours in the regular 100% run, the route has gotten quite a lot better. And a lot of new strats have been found. So I thought I might as well go back and update my record in this category. Uh, because my old record was pretty old and outdated. So let's see if we can get a pretty solid time. Some kind of cake? <laughs> I don't really have a goal for the category, other than I just wanna, obviously, I just want the time that is solid and that I'm happy with, which could be this run, we'll see. It's not really a category I want to put too much time and effort into, so as long as I get a fairly solid time, I'll be totally happy with it. There's something up ahead. Anyone doing push up for goals? There's gonna be a lot of gold splits today, so if anybody is up for that, then uh, <laughs> good luck. Yo, K9, thanks for the 15 month freeze up as well. Really appreciate it. Interesting, we had two 15 month freeze ups back to back. <laughs> but thank you for your support. Hope you're doing well. In before red splits only? Well, if there's red splits only, I can tell you this run is not gonna finish. <laughs> What's that? Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy Shrine. So, Velga? <clears throat> So I don't really have a goal in mind, I just know I can do a lot better than the run I got yesterday, so... Why did they die here? We'll see how much better we'll do. What happened to them? I just hope I get a little bit better Carl slash Fox RNG me. this time around. That would be nice. See this plant over here. It's called South Brush. Come, get good. Now eat Blech. the berries. They may taste bitter, but they could save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Nice, Harris. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how. To and yeah, the DLC is are indeed amazing. Dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be. But yeah, respected. in case anybody uh, wants to throw up some points, there is a prediction right now for the early fox skin. The last two runs, we have not gotten an early fox skin. There. So will this be the run where we do? We'll see. the trail to that tall grass oh another one let it pass come back this way the slower you move the quieter anyhow for those who don't know people sometimes like to do when i'm doing these hundred percent runs uh do the thing where they do 10 push-ups for every goal split or setups or whatever 10 10 or something <laughs> or however much you can manage but if you're gonna do that today well you're gonna get a pretty hefty workout i imagine you did well they didn't see your because uh, i only have the splits from Nasty yesterday and we're comparing again so every single time i'm faster than yesterday it will be a goal split <laughs> Come now, let's find that herd. Follow. 
Yeah, predictions are region restricted on Twitch. Because certain countries doesn't allow simulated gambling. There. When uh, the website is 18 or younger. Which Twitch is. You need to be 13 to be on Twitch. I believe it's 13. I always forget. I'm pretty sure it's 14. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. And yeah, you could also just use a VPN too. So commend it. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit. The predictions work if you use a VPN. Do as I say, Aloy. Apparently, it even works if you use the free Firefox extension prediction. Follow. What is a free VPN in Firefox? I think it is, and apparently that one works. So if you use Firefox, well, there you go. <laughs> Always cheat the system. If the system is gonna cheat you, if you doesn't cheat it. <laughs> Harvest the kill so I can use the stocks as arrow shafts. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to crack them. Here. Stay low in the grass. This is time. The canister on its back. Keep firing! You did well today. Somebody has told me Firefox has to a free VPN Tomorrow, installed in the browser. Again. And apparently that works. That? That boy. I don't use Firefox, the I have no idea. Follow Aloy, quick! I've just been told by other people that that's the case. Aloy, follow. And I choose to believe them. Can't let them see me. Damn, stunning out of the red split. No push-ups. <laughs> oh well. Oh, it's only available in certain countries. See, that I did not know. I thought it was just a standard thing. So you need to use a VPN to get access to it's VPN. To it's VPN. Is what you're saying. Why isn't he here? <laughs> Where's he gone to? Using a VPN while being inside of a VPN. That's how you use extra mean? protection on the internet. He's just <laughs> standing there. What's going on with him? Double VPN. <laughs> no, but I would. Of course. There is a dissent. What can never yeah. be too safe. <laughs> Stop. Something's really bothering him. I mean, I actually don't even know if you can do a double VPN. I just assumed that. That would kind of work. <laughs> it would probably make your internet like really chubby, but it probably would work. Don't see why not, but I'm not an expert. <laughs> they embrace. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this valley. Really? No animals? That'll change after the. What is this? Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was. Why I was cast out at birth. It's almost like an apocalypse happened or something, since there's no meat right. around. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find the amount of times I've made that joke in this game is staggering. And I'm not gonna stop now. Oh, mother. When my name was called Hello. Oh, don't all 
I so there we go. We got the meat for the fast roll pack. And we need to collect a bit extra meat for Gral. Can this run be sub five hours? I don't think so. Maybe. If I cared enough to go for it, possibly. But I don't think I will. Okay, Grata said her All right. There we go. We got the meat. A coil. It is a dark coil. There we go. We got the damage cow. That was a pretty good start to the run. Early fox skin means getting it before log of the hunt, which is about 45 minutes into the run, give or take. Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be. There he is. 100% is uh, completing the progression track on the game. If you open up the notebook in the game, you will find a progression tracker. I've got what I need. I messed up the manuring there, but it's fine. Still saving time. Hey, it's easy. Shots from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah. I, you wait. Good night. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth. It's something new. Something Ignore the best possible time throughout this run. Every time I get a gold split, it's gonna get lower. Yeah. Because my goals are not optimized, optimized whatsoever for this category. Well, if you play the game very efficiently, you can do it quite quickly. Pretty good Dutch. Gone at the soup when it I'll see you. Will I play the next Horizon Zero Dawn? You mean when they remaster it? I don't know. Let's see if uh, Forbidden West comes out first. Oh, well. And then I'll what the next game will be. I feel like I may also make that joke way too much whenever people call it Zero Dawn. <laughs> it's part of my personality. I just can't stop not making those jokes, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. Gratis. Hey, we got some traffic light splits. <laughs> Don't worry, Bacon. I'm just making fun. Uh, but yeah, I will play Forbidden West, of course. I'm just hilarious. I mean, I like to think I am, but I don't know. So, To be fair, some of my jokes are pretty lame. Other ones are pure gold. You should be for you. I have to let him go. Am I not fast travel to the village after talking to Rust? First, what prayer. do you mean? We need to get the prayer be that beats for Grata. Oh, you mean after talking to him here? Oh, uh, because we don't have the fast travel packs for. What's it called? 
Well, every any you know tears. Yes, I took great children. Could always collect the extra meat, but you know, it saves very little time. So, <laughs> I'm sure most of the time you would lose more time from the meat. The end of 22 for the PC release? You are really optimistic about a PC release. Sorry to say, mentor. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but if I were to guess, you're not gonna see Forbidden West until 2025 on PC. With Sony's current strategy when it comes to PC games, I think that's gonna be the case. I'm not trying to hurt people that only play on PC, I'm just trying to be realistic. If you expect the game to be out sometime next year on PC, you are... You're gonna be very disappointed. Unless Sony completely changes up their strategy, which... Seems extremely unlikely, uh, then... It's gonna be at least two years. So this is a huge uh, you mean the NVIDIA leak? I mean, the NVIDIA leak could also just be that while they are working on the console port, they have started working on the... <clears throat> they have started working on the... on the PC port at the same time, because... I mean, if they know that it's going to be on PC eventually, they might as well. Now, Zero Dawn was also... Well, actually, that was three and a half years, to be fair. Couldn't get to loot there. So yes, it is true it's mentioned in the NVIDIA League. But it's also important to know that some of the things in the NVIDIA League have turned out not to be true. Or have been heavily debunked. Some of them are real, but... Uh, definitely take the NVIDIA stuff with a massive grain of salt. Far behind. I've gotta catch up. I don't know. Obviously you are open to believe what you want. I just feel like if you expect the game to be on PC anytime soon, I think you're gonna be very disappointed. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Strong, I thought. It would be cool if it would be on PC, you know, as soon as possible, because that would just be nice for the people on PC, but I just don't think that's gonna happen, sadly. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How did you get up there? That's totally fine. I've trained my whole life for this. They had a try, but I. I know many people that are like that. There's probably a couple of people in chat that would agree with that statement. <laughs> But I just feel like if you're a PC only gamer, you can expect pretty much all PlayStation games to come to PC at this point. 
Just don't expect them to come out like day and day. Like. I don't think that's realistically gonna happen. I don't need the only one running 100%? Pretty much, yeah. No, two other people have done 100 runs, but. They did those like four years ago, so. <laughs> So currently, yes, I am very much the only person doing Hundo. There, with Earth. And he's saying I was born here, inside the mountain. Because currently, it looks like the way Sony is doing it is they're kind of basing it out on how well a game is selling, and obviously, Forbidden West is going to be a, one of the biggest sellers. Which is leads me to believe that it's gonna be three years. Just like it's been for Horizon and God of War. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying. And to die near one's mother was sacred. Lothra fought it, of course, but genocide with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great... <laughs> and to be fair, yeah, it's sad they don't come out and release, but at the same time, I, if I was a PC player, I would be happy that they're coming to PC at all. <laughs> In all honesty, because if you had asked me, like, two years ago, I would have said there is no way Sony's ever going to release their exclusives on PC. But here we are, and they seem to be doing it. And you can see, like, Uncharted came to is coming to PC, like, four or five years after. Four or five years after initial launch. Uncharted, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Horizon and God of War is three years. Days Gone was two years. And Sackboy, a huge adventure, is only going to be a year and a half. But apparently Sackboy, a huge adventure, didn't sell all that much, so... Could be a reason why they wanted on PC sooner. Or that they don't consider Sackboy to be one of their major IPs, which is also kind of true. Granted, Sackboy is technically not confirmed yet, but it's all but confirmed that that is the next game after God of War. I don't really know how well a game like that is going to do on PC, though. Like a co-op platformer. I'm sure it'll sell fine, but it's probably not going to be selling gangbusters. What's up, Kaida? Thanks, well, good luck. I'm sure God of War is going to sell well on PC, because that's a game that has a huge reputation, obviously. I think I know. For the goddess! Braves! I want. That gate repair. I need to test this device. See what it can do. Oh, uh. Keep messing up the menu in here. It's not hostile. It's striders. I can test the override device on them. Can somebody explain to me what that PC patch actually does? The only thing I understand, it makes the game run better and it makes it look slightly better. Is that basically all it does? The thing they patched today? I don't know what those terms mean, like DS, LL, and the NVIDIA, and AMD, whatever stuff they added. Like, I don't know what that means. I'm sure there's somebody in chat who's technical enough to 
give me a, like a layman's explanation of it. <laughs> it's for good upscaling. Okay. And some people also told me that it's gonna so make the game run better if you run it at really high FPS. Okay. Which has been a little bit of an issue. Okay, so you can have higher resolution without dropping too much FPS. Gotcha. That sounds pretty good. Loading times will be even faster. Well, thank God we split the leaderboards then. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so too, they were done with the PC version, but maybe uh, the stuff NVIDIA and AMD have released, maybe it turned out that it was pretty easy to patch support for it, so they just did it, because why not? Maybe they were even wor working on stuff like that for like Forbidden West, West, and they were like, hey, this would be easy to do in Zero Dawn, so let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, we already don't count loading times, exactly. So loading has no impacts on the runs, isn't that right, HDD gang? <sighs> Imagine using a high hot drive in 2021. <laughs> Gotta throw all the shots at the HDD gang when you can. We got the watch out. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be one of us. Oh, whose knife is this? Looks like more blood leading away from here. There, a bucket. The trail of blood ends here. Whoever left it must have also left track. Exactly, Astral. I also feel like that's why I sewered on wasn't too great at the PC launch. Well, first of all, the game was clearly rushed to PC. I don't think anybody will deny that. But secondly, I also think it had something to do with the... Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> what is this RNG, dude? Holy crap. It wasn't even a good handling call, but the fact that I got a purple handling call from a Ravager corpse. That's pretty dope. <laughs> that's the second time that's ever happened to me in a speedrun. <laughs> Holy crap. Imagine if that had been like a 67 handling. <laughs> well, I guess all my complaining about not having a handle, Carl, yesterday. Well, we got one now. <laughs> Like yesterday, I only got my handling curl in the run like, what was it, like 50 hours, or not 50, 5 hours into the run or something. Stupid. Is that a corpse next to me? Uh, what were you we talking about before I, I saw that curl? Kind of oh yeah, like clearly the game was rushed to BC, I think nobody's denying that. I think Sony just wanted it out before, before fall or something. And secondly... Uh, secondly, also with the PC version, I also think when they started developing Horizon Zero Dawn from scratch, I don't think there was any plans whatsoever to bring it to PC, so... So, like, the entire game from the ground up was built with only console in mind. Compared to Death Stranding, which uses the same engine and came to PC, well, Death Stranding was always planned to come to PC, so, you know, they could plan for that in advance. Or, uh, from the beginning.
Oh. In Days Gone, which apparently also worked perfectly from launch on PC, from what I heard, uh, that game obviously was done on the Unreal Engine, and from what I understand, if it doesn't matter what game you make on the Unreal Engine, it's like super easy to transfer it to a different platform if it's on Unreal. So they could even put it on Switch if they wanted to, apparently. Maybe the war chief left something behind. But I doubt that will happen. It's well, never gonna be on Switch or Xbox. <laughs> now that would be a stretch. PC, not so, not too surprising. Switch or Xbox, never gonna happen. <laughs> And apparently when they originally started the development for this game was before the PS4 even came out, so... You know, them thinking about PC, like, the chance of that was probably, like, zero. Like, the whole talk about releasing this game on PC probably didn't even come out until... Or didn't even start until the game probably was out already. <laughs> Sony needs to compete with Apex Game Pass? Well, they already kinda are. I mean, just by releasing premium games at premium prices. Here she is! The girl here, the car, they know what word it is. And I suppose you'll. I'm free. I should. Alright. I don't think Sony. I mean, people always say Sony should do a subscription service. I actually don't think they need to. Because, obviously there's the issue with Microsoft, like, they have to go all in on Game Pass now, because it's, like, what they have. If you do a subscription service, you kind of have to go all in on it. I don't think Sony, nor Nintendo for that matter, is really needs to do that. To compete. Because, like, Sony games and Nintendo games are selling, like, stupid crazy numbers. So there's no reason to do a subscription service. I knew what I forgot. Almost forgot it again today. My focus is picking up some kind of signal. Maybe I can scan it. Like, just in a good example, is Animal Crossing New Horizons sold twice as much at full price than there is total Game Pass subscribers? Just to give you some perspective. PlayStation and Nintendo are doing really fine, and arguably you could say Xbox is still doing the worst out of all three. But all three of them are doing very well in their own right, let's not forget that. It's not like Xbox is like dying. <laughs> it's a little annoying, it's raining, it's hard to see where things are. What's not true? Last I heard it had 20 million subscribers. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. Maybe it's reached 30, so I don't know. Birdie's pretty good. Looks just like Ross described. The signal must be coming from his head. I need to get up there. But nonetheless, I still don't think Nintendo and Sony need subscription <laughs> services. And, I mean, the true test of Game Pass probably is this year, to be fair. Because this is like the best year. Like, Xbox is definitely... I would say Xbox, if you just look at this year alone, Xbox probably has the best year out of all three of them. Found advantage. Need to piece the messages together. In terms of, like, quality of their games, like Psychonauts 2, uh, Forza Horizon, and uh, Halo Infinite. Like, all three of those games are, like... Super and Sony like Returnal and Ratchet and Clank Deathloop. It's not really competing with that. 
so that's why it's kind of like the this is like the true test of game pass like with these good games is that enough to bring enough people on to game pass to make it a success that is the question you know this should be a good spot for jumping onto the tall neck okay so like if they can get a lot of subscribers with the games they currently have you know that is like that's gonna be like the true test of uh how good game pass is or how interest or not how good it is because clearly it's good but for the Just consumer uh, and what i mean by it is like how good it is it at getting people to pay for it so like once we start hearing some numbers from microsoft this year that's when it's gonna be really interesting or like not this year but like Halfway through next year, I guess, is when we can see it in the numbers. It's like summer. Summer next year will probably have a good idea of how it is. In all honesty, I, I don't think Sony needs to do a subscription service. What I kind of feel like Sony, and I'm not an expert by the way, so don't, don't put too much thought into what I'm saying, obviously. But uh, I honestly think Sony should probably try and copy Nintendo more than they should try and copy Xbox. I think Sony should release all their games at like full price and never put them on sale. Because the games, in my opinion, all Sony games are good enough to justify that. <laughs> yeah, I am Jim Ryan in disguise. <laughs> Actually, Jim Ryan is not CEO, but Sony is just head of PlayStation. I have no idea what the CEO of Sony is. Because <laughs> uh, PlayStation is only part of Sony, but PlayStation is the biggest part of Sony. The dead sawtooth. Maybe Sony took it out. She could be close. And I know that is arguably not great for consumers, because obviously cheaper games are better for consumers, right? I'm just saying, if I was a businessman, and I was at Sony, I would look more towards Nintendo right now than I would look at Xbox. Because in my opinion, I would actually, looking at the numbers that I've seen recently, I actually think Nintendo is currently doing the best. In terms of how many consoles they're selling, and how much their games are selling. Like, I would put Nintendo currently at number one, then Sony at two, and Xbox third. In terms of how well I think they're doing. Compared to each other. Metal flowers. Huh. Well, why not? Alright, let's get a good fight here. He just had to take that step below, didn't he? From what I hear from indie developers, Nintendo is like the best platform right now if you're an indie dev. Over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire. It's even Nintendo or Game Pass server. they usually talk about, so. Yeah, Switch is not doing great for third party, but. I urge you to take similar. Have measures. you seen how much their exclusives are selling? The consequences. <laughs> and how many consoles they're currently selling? It, they're doing really well. <laughs> A blaze stockpile inside their base. I found down. There's blood. Please, def I'll say sound. I think the only reason that wasn't a goal was because the tall knight dropped me off far away. <clears throat>
But if you're a consumer and you're not looking at the business side of it, I, agree. I mean, the Xbox is still definitely doing the best for consumers. Because, like, Game Pass is clearly <laughs> the superior model if you're a consumer. Because you get all that stuff for, like, almost no money. So I get that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I fully understand that. It's just... It's just interesting to see if how... Like, when is gonna be the turning point of it, or... Like, when is Xbox officially gonna declare it profitable, or when are they gonna stop... You know, doing all those discounts on it, and... Will they be able to retain players and stuff, you know? Once some of those things go away. Because obviously they're still in the early stages and almost treating it like they are uh, like a startup company in a way. Which just is such a popular business model these days. And also, Xbox have bought so many studios, you know. It's gonna be interesting to see once they start releasing some games, like, how good will those games be? Because if Xbox starts releasing similar quality games to Sony and Xbox, I know some people would argue they kind of done that this year, and that's definitely true, but they gotta keep it going, yo. <laughs> and if they keep it going, you know, Xbox is gonna do really well. Seeker. Uh, no doubts about that. Uh, there we go. Oh, stupid. May I speak with you? I said I'd meet Varlin Sona near Red Echoes. Yeah, all three. That's the interesting part. That's really cool right now. Is like. All three companies right now, Sony, Nintendo, and Xbox, are all doing, com not completely different, but doing very different business models, and all three of them are doing really well at the same time. It's kind of cool to see when you think about it. You know? Yo, Jamrock, thanks for the 22-month resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. Hope you're doing well. And by the way, here, well found in the uh, Lord Nick. How are you two doing? Because, like, don't get me wrong, like, obviously I am... Um, probably have a, Sonus bi a Sony bias, I'm not gonna deny that, just because, you know, I prefer Sony's games, and therefore I like to see them do well. But obviously, we... I'm sure everyone can agree we want all three companies to do as well as possible, right? And obviously be as consumer friendly as realistically possible. Hmm. So it's kind of cool to see that all three of them are like doing really well. We're not back in the PS3 area era where, uh, or back in that generation where Sony was really struggling hard for a while and Nintendo was also looking like they were falling apart completely. Like right now all three companies seem to be doing really well in like their own ways. Ooh. Early Foxkin? Yo! Let's go, that's the early Foxkin. Uh, I don't know if you're here Seth, if you can do the payout. We actually got it right before the forest. That's the second time we have had that happen recently, where we get it on, like, last possible fucks. <laughs> Good meat. Like, I remember back during the Wii U, before the Switch was announced, People were even starting to talk about that uh, Nintendo should become uh, 
uh, that Nintendo should become like a publisher because their games weren't doing too well and their console was a downright failure. <laughs> like the Wii U. Let's get the fatty meat here. piece of fatty meat yeah the Wii U was a huge failure for uh, Nintendo but they managed to turn it out around so quickly with the switch like the switch has been such a huge success for them Tempted. Is that the ugly cutting board? <laughs> I don't know, does it look like a cutting board? <laughs> it just looks like it was a console made by Fisher Price, which probably was a problem. Thank you for all you did. You share the gifts of a true Nora Brave. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, maybe it's just because I've been on Twitter, at Twitter a bit too much. And if you ever talk about any of the free console platforms on Twitter, there's just so many, uh, fanboys talking about it. Where it's like, they, for some reason, they treat, like, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo like sports teams. And if their side is not, quote-unquote, winning, they get, like, super frustrated. <laughs> Yo, Salma, thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Obviously, the average person that plays video games are not like that, but they are just... They are just those people that are, like, for some reason, always fighting about which console is, like, the best to be on and... Or the PC Master Race, <laughs> you know? Hope you had a good stream, uh, Salma, by the way. Appreciate it. And uh, welcome, everybody, from Salma stream. Sorry, you joined wide out while I was in the middle of uh, talking about the consoles. <laughs> what charity was he uh, supporting? Is he part of uh, the Save the Children thing that's going on? Oh, mind. Okay. Haven't heard about those, but mental health. Sounds like a good cause. i just seen a lot of other streamers do the Save the Children, so that's why I thought... I thought he m maybe he was part of that. But I guess not. This was closer to home? Yeah, I mean, you should always just support uh, the ones you want to support, I guess. <laughs> what is gold split versus green split? So, uh, gold split means that's the fastest time I've ever completed that split. Where screen split just means I'm ahead of the time I'm comparing against. In this case, the world record. But uh, since my splits are not really optimized for this category at all, uh, that's why you see a lot of gold splits in this run. Because I've only done like one run with the splits. So every time I am faster than my 
the run, uh, my world record, it, the gold, uh, it's a gold. So that's why there's a lot of uh, gold split. Did I optimize the run? That's what I'm currently trying to do, but getting a good run here and given the RNG we have gotten so far, it's looking pretty bright for this run. By the way, uh, since there's a lot of Somnautica people here now, uh, do people speedrun below zero? Because I haven't really seen anybody speedrun it. <laughs> Seems like most people are still focusing on regular sub. So Nordica. Well, are you kidding me? Oh. Let's not talk about it. That was some terrible aiming right there. Alarm. Can't let them get to it. Somebody should revoke my platinum rank in Halo Infinite with aiming like that. <laughs> Speedrun is kind of boring compared to OG Subnautica. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, only Infinite have I played on PC. Actually, no, I've played 3 and Reach on PC as well, but... Uh, currently, I'm only playing Infinite, obviously, but... Even though I'm starting to get a little frustrated with Infinite. They need to add a Slayer playlist to that game as soon as possible. Because it's so annoying that either one, you can't just play Slayer when you want to play Slayer. And secondly, it's also annoying that people that want to play Slayer are forced to play objective games. And because of that, they don't play the objective at all. Turn back, girl! These machines are dangerous! So I probably won't play any more Halo Infinite until there's a Slayer playlist. Because it's too annoying to play when people are, when it's like that. Upon us this day. It wasn't the sun risking it. Yes, down. already got the second watcher hop. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. Uh, I've been using my PlayStation controller a bit, uh, but I've been trying to do some mouse and keyboard lately. But I think I just prefer Halo with a controller. Halo just feels more natural to play with a controller. No need to lawyer here. For me personally. That's all there is in I heard. But I what? New. There's a skill fight, maybe. Granted, it does feel a little weird to play it with a PlayStation controller, but. Oh well. Captain. I don't have an Xbox controller, so. I'll. The sun is still displeased. And then we saw. Let's see. And then, so that. There, crafting. Upgrade to level 2 there. Upgrade level 3. Level 1. Craft under weapons. I forgot to sell the old weapons. And rope caster. I feel like my aim is pretty good with a mouse. It's more just doing the movement with a keyboard. I'm pretty bad at. Because it's been so long since I've played an FPS game on PC. So I am just extremely rusty with mo doing movement with a keyboard. <laughs> Oh, one sec. 
Yo, Kasaka, thank you so much for the four month freeze up. Someone nearly lost his head here. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, Halo just feels so much better playing with controller, I feel like. Uh, somebody also asked why I got into running uh, Horizon. Uh, I was already getting more seriously into speedrunning at the time, and I'd recently played casually through Horizon. And I really loved Horizon at the time, and I was just like, I'm gonna try speedrun it, and I did, and well, kept doing it, and here we are. <laughs> that is the short version of the story. By the sun, what is that? by the sun. See? I, uh, I would come on. Earth. You think. <laughs> now it's already doing runs of the. Uh, I just recently started taking speedrunning more seriously with uh, uh, with uh, Crash Insane Trilogy. scans doesn't seem to count but whatever pretty good kills nonetheless what's <laughs> up chris run is going really well this has been like almost a perfect start to the run And also, a thing happened in the crash, uh, with the crash speedrun that caused me to lose interest in crash speedruns, so... Because, uh, I was running the Insane Trilogy, and, um... Right around the time I just started doing Horizon speedruns. A new technique for, um... A new technique for the speedrun in Crash that saved a lot of time, called Hop Sliding, was just found. And... At the time, it wasn't really understood all that well, so people were really bad at it. And I couldn't figure out how to do it properly and spent so much time trying to learn it. And that just caused me to, you know, hate it more and more. And eventually I just was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna run Crash anymore and just focused on Horizon from there. And it's pretty funny if you have watched a Crash speedrun in today's day and age, or a Crash Insane Trilogy speedrun. Because these days, hop sliding is like fairly easy, because now people actually understand how it works and people have gotten so good at it, so... It's like, everybody does it now, <laughs> almost, unless you're a brand new runner, I guess. But back when it was first found, it was like, super annoying to do. <laughs> But hey, it got me in more into Horizon speedruns, so... So I guess it wasn't that much of a loss, I guess. <laughs> wait. Oh wait, he did get the loot. But I shot him. I don't understand this trial sometimes. What? It's fucking trial, man. I don't fucking get it. I would have used a bomb on the first Glint Hog if I had one. But I don't have many metal whistles. What the fuck, man? What is wrong with this trial? I never had this issue, like... A couple of months ago, and now it happens every single run. And I feel like I'm not doing anything differently. Which is the annoying part. Oh, 
introduced. That was more bad aim, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, let's just have a good Glendhog trial. <laughs> I'm just never gonna be good friends with this hunting ground, that's for sure. No. <laughs> but to be fair, nobody likes this hunting ground, let's be honest there. Don't even pretend you do. go the wrong way there. Where are they? <laughs> eh, solid. You love hunting rounds? Yeah, I mean, I like hunting rounds too, but not this particular one. <laughs> this is the worst hunting round in the game. No ifs or buts about that. I have three sons. Now they'll let me inside the hunter's lodge. Well, let's see how that turns out. We'll knock some machines on while they're here. Now you love them too. I've heard a lot of people say they never completed the hunting grounds because they didn't like them. I mean, to eat stone, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, apparently a lot of people struggle with the shell walker trial. I'm not gonna lie, I find that to be one of the easiest trials. These are something special. But I assume, yeah, I mean, I guess maybe people are just trying to kill everything, which. You know, obviously, if you try to kill everything during the Soul Walker trial, you're gonna have a bad time. But I don't really know. I've never really seen any casual players do the trial, so I don't really know why it's considered to be so annoying. It's a very short time. Fair, I guess. I must be closing in on the signal. I don't really know how tight the time is. I'm just used to doing the speedrun strats, so... 
I get them not really aware. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tight. We have to do this first, right? Saved like so much time here, but nope. I don't think most people realize what the rewards are until they complete them, so that's why they just consider ignoring them. still be a gold here because my run yesterday also didn't get the early tall neck here but it's just annoying because it would save like 45 seconds or something i think it's 45 it saves if you get it early enough from Saber. What am I doing indeed? Yeah, I mean, I kind of understand why some people might struggle a little with it. I just don't see why people would all of a sudden claim it's the hardest trial. It seemed like a bit far-fetched to me. But I just have seen a good amount of people, like, claim that. What's up, lad? Thanks for the good luck. Now, that, that's not why I had such a ride, because, like, even on my first playthrough, I don't remember struggling with that trial at all. I think that the entire hunting ground I found super easy. But like, even as a first time player, I don't see how it's hard. But, or why it's that hard for some people. But maybe there's just something I'm missing or stuff. Uh, the game is the exact same on PS5, speedrunning wise. Other than you have 60 FPS, which just makes aiming a bit easier. But other than that, it's the exact same speedrun.
casual players just ban? I don't think that's <laughs> the reason. It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. On average, I mean, they're certainly worse, but I don't think that's the reason why they're struggling with it. And there weren't four crates. But if there's not four crates, you have to shoot off the crate from a shell walker. Because that means they picked one up and walked away with it. I won't be needing this machine in there. I do that pretty much every time in the speedrun here, because even when you do the speedrun strat, they pretty much always pick up at least one. I think in the run yesterday, they picked up two. But granted, I think I was a little slow, so... So like, even in the speedrun strat, you pretty much always have to shoot off one. I mean, I can see why you would struggle with it. I would just never consider it the hottest trial. That just seems like such a straight stretch to me. I did it again. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Shooting is not really stealthy. You can take a shot and still be stealthy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the weird one. I'm sorry for the wait, Which but most likely is the case. <laughs> I'm sorry hey, Cuddlefish. The wait, Welcome to the stream. And so's Aaron, that other Outlander I talked to the night before the Proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. So she was kept in the Keep hitting my pulse button. Got name Fat Fingers. In the Merce, how would I know? Ha. Hey, hey, I'll. Have you. Ah. Uh, over so of as you. There. A lot, not many. We were. I. How it's hard. The killer. What are you. It does. I need. But. No. But. I don't. He's not. Aha. Uh, okay. I. I need. Okay. We all have our place in the order of things. Hey, come back. Olin's place is this way. So many people here. Come back. That's not the way to Olin's place. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Corner of this but Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. Look, let's get a little. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your... How did... I'll Wait, wait. Out. Thanks for good luck. Don't act. Look, fume. Red. <clears throat> You're not like in the way. Um, I see the but if I prefer he wait this shrine and the moon they need. I like I'll to ask to another fallen. Middle burn. Oh, wait, uh, it's not the hearts we need. Scott? Uh, this is the run without the DLC. You need to win. You, Very am I not to join? So, yeah, upstairs. What are you? Yours? This is just the main game. This. Huh. But that you're that one. No, it's so quick. Very you're a story. Mm. Um, you want kill through so fucking. 
Let's do Valley Meat. Let's get some more skills here. Yeah. Guess we'll just start learning these. When is it a gold split and when is it green? Green when I'm just ahead, gold when it's the fastest I've ever done a split. Gold means that's the fastest I've completed the split. So if I get a gold here on Valley Meat, it means that's the fastest I've ever done it. Doesn't matter if I'm ahead or behind, it will be a gold. I mean, the time itself, no matter the color, it just means how far ahead I'm behind of my my best. So, like, on the last split, I was a minute and 54 seconds ahead. But it's green because I'm not just ahead on the split, you know, so it's easier to read instead of looking for the minus in the split. Um, but when it's gold, it still shows the time that I'm ahead or behind when I finish the split. But gold just means that that was the fastest that I did that section of the run. So like, great run hunting round was the fastest I ever completed it in this run. And like I said earlier, because my um... I thought I had some cards for it. Guess not. These now wait. You know, and because this is only my second time using these splits, um, that's why my oh, I need to buy some uh, middle vessels. Uh, that's why I'm getting a lot of corals. Oh, uh, sorry, golds, not corals. Should be good enough. Or not? I thought there was another strider over there, but I guess not. Though. Unlucky. Well, quiet, does it? Well, are you kidding? What? That makes no sense. Though my aim was right on it and it still missed. What? Terrible. You want to, if you could. Man, frustrating. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> it's just annoying when the game tree <laughs> does that. You wanna in one.
Oh well. Let's just get a good shot trial to finish it off here. Wait, did that miss? I did miss. No man, I guess that was just a terrible hunting ground overall. Oh well, it ends. <laughs> so far, hunting grounds have been pretty bad this run. You wanna? I'll... You can. I haven't checked the leaderboard for this month, so I don't know. So I honestly don't know. Still gold though? But like I just said, yeah, it's better than anything else I've done with these splits, but but my splits are not that good, because I've only done one run with these splits. Which basically means that every time I do better than my... Every time I just save more time than my best time, it's gonna be a goal. So it can still be a bad split and be a goal. Gold splits makes a bit more sense when you're running against something that's more optimized. But who made it? <laughs> like when I do the new game plus ultra hard, it's uh, What's it for? then all that stuff makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Yeah, the best possible time is based on goal splits. Every time I get a goal split, best possible time goes down. Sometimes speedrunning would be easier if you just had a timer. <laughs> Those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. But I'm sure you guys are understanding it. At least Might the basics of it. <laughs> so machines are built in places like this. Why? That's the heart of it all. It's gotta be. So how do I get inside? No, green is good. Green and gold are all good for both of them. But I can be five minutes behind my record and still get a gold. <laughs> Green is not just okay. Green is good. <laughs> I've got as far as this thing will take me.
Yeah, gold is basically its own thing. Gold doesn't have anything to do with how good the run is. Yeah, green and red is basically what is split off of the run overall, whereas gold just refers to just that one split. So gold is still good, it just doesn't necessarily have an impact on the run. No, best possible times is all my gold splits minus the time loss of the run. So that's why if I don't get a gold split, the best possible time goes up. No matter if it's a red or green split. Basically, yes, demon. <laughs> Still don't have bombs. Yeah, if it's only gold, that would be really good. Because <laughs> if you get a gold split, it does by definition mean you're saving time. <laughs> Information about different machines. This will help me override them. More complicated than splitting an atom. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to me, it's easy to understand, but granted, I'm also doing runs and stuff. I guess if you did speed runs yourself, you would easily understand it. Could be anything in the Hello, Dury. The care. The one looks. I uh, know, there's no 100 frickin' category for ultra hard, I assume you mean. Yes, what a. The more speedruns you was, the more simple it should become, I guess. I never finished one. I've only like it started like two of them, but never finished them. Uh, a little 
confused him. And just because I do a run doesn't mean it's a category. You can do runs of whatever you want. To be fair. I just feel like if you watch enough speedruns and you pay attention to the split side, I think you will start to understand it over time. I forgot to split. Is what I mean by it. <laughs> as long as you understand the basics that as long as i'm ahead that's good <laughs> i feel like most people are able to figure that out pretty easily So I should learn these skills now just to at least increase my chance of getting the skins. Because yesterday we were missing the rabbit skin. Don't want a repeat of that. Okay. Now I'm doing it manually on my PC. There, watcher. 
Whenever a split is over, I just hit the space bar. Yeah, the microphone is probably picking it up. Because it's not standing right next to the keyboard. Hey, Rip. It's going pretty well right now. Not perfect, but it's a very solid run so far. Pretty happy with it. So we just gotta keep it going, you know? into the past with my focus. Guess what you have? No idea. <laughs> if I'm so sounds like oh yeah. Yes. Four liters of chocolate milk? And that's a lot of chocolate milk. We wait on your signal. But nice. Hopefully you're not gonna drink all that at once. I feel like you're gonna have a pretty bad tummy if you're gonna drink four liters of chocolate milk. Yeah, two or three days of milk, yeah. Has a weakness. Patience, Barl. You'll know soon enough. Up you go. <laughs> Worth it. I don't know. I feel like sometimes when it comes to food, you're always thinking, I could eat all that, but you always end up regretting it. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. <laughs> when you're like feeling terrible afterwards. It's like, yeah, I could totally drink four liters of chocolate milk, and then you do it, and then you're like, why did I do that? I'm stupid. <laughs> you can see them. Fifteen fish sticks. Damn. This is so far away. Come on. Come on.
the annoying spawns. I don't think I ever like fisting since I was like really little. It's over. They won't be able to kill again. I need to find over. No, I think about everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Uh I don't think so, no. Yeah, but it's because I don't have any metal vessels. So I couldn't craft any bombs, so I had to shoot them all with arrows. I've got no, no metal vessels at all during this run. Let's make this Gonna lose time here as well, because you no know, damage girl is gonna make a lot of these guys not one shot. the handling call which is really nice a bit of a shame we don't have a good or a solid damage call but hopefully we'll get that soon to make some of this fighting a little easier some time there but it's fine we've got plenty of time to make up for later oh yeah it's super fun once you can do like combat really fast oh don't sell that I can sell this 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 uh, guess that's it that's... Then we go to Brennan. Actually, wait. Hmm. 
Hello? Let me get the loot here in this house. Should be some metal vessels in these boxes. Yeah, some definitely some good loot in them. But yeah, the game that's one of the reasons why I love speedrunning this so much is uh the gameplay uh, once you're doing it fast paced becomes like super fun. Vessels there. <laughs> True. Birds can be annoying. <laughs> That's one thing you can always rely on in this game, is birds being annoying. To dodge them. Nah, no good, Carl. Still a very good fight. I pro I know. The I don't you do what you do. I'm the kids. I'm not. What are they never. What do I do when they. He and who. You say. Haiti. Haiti. Steal such a. Um, and what. Sister. I've heard. I won't. Where would. My folk. I know. I'm. To end. <clears throat> you monster. <laughs> Rest in peace, Owen. <laughs> Been bleeding a lot of time right now in this run, but I guess the stretch was pretty good in my uh, run yesterday, so it is what it is, but hopefully you can step it up a bit further here. Grab the next section. So we can start saving some time again. want this run to be for nothing I wonder if I can get in there without alerting all those soldiers Uh, 
Uh, damage curl. Damage call from the Deathbringer. I don't guess they killed my mount. Bastards. Doesn't even have to be a great damage goal, it just has to be good enough so I can start one-shotting some things I should be able to one-shot at this point. This is losing me time. But in fairness, uh, all the other RNG in this run has been pretty good so far. So I guess can't complain too much. Chase down that guy now. Fight back. Time to rain. That's an alarm. We'll be looking at the to bring in more. They're gonna wipe us out. Oh my god, I keep bleeding time! <laughs> Bow from hunting rounds. Don't mind me. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, this I mean, like definitely need to put on the tryout pants at this point. This is not looking pretty right now. I mean, I remember I had a good middle section of the run. It's just. Better than I thought I could, currently. <laughs> but again, a lot of the human enemy fights are just losing time, because yesterday I had like a bow with really good damage, and today I don't, so... They're giving up. So a lot of the things I could one-shot yesterday, I can't one-shot today. <laughs> nice, pretty fun. Hope you enjoy it. Curious to hear what uh, other people's opinion on the Halo campaign. So far, I've still only watched like a couple of reviews for it. None of them said it was bad, it was just a bit underwhelming, I guess, was the takeaway. Well, at least story-wise. Apparently the gameplay was super fun. 
But, I mean, we have already played the multiplayer, so... It's the same game, so it wouldn't be too surprising. But we'll see. Curious to hear what other people's opinion are on that, though. But yeah, I'm very curious to see like what people's uh, actual opinions are on Infinite campaign. Because obviously reviews is just reviews. Always gotta remember when you're watching or reading a review or something that they went in with like a reviewer mindset. The clips, just like you said. Which is definitely different from somebody who's just playing it. To experience it. An explosion. Another explosion. All weapons operate. Focus. Stop working. My position is focus. I'll handle it. Really good shooting there. What the hell was that? Hades? Finally. Oh, and handling as well. Let's hey. go. That's what we love to see. Strange. Really good Carl there. Alright, I can stop complaining about Carl RNG now. And actually, I should never really call, complain about my Carl RNG, because... I mean, in fairness, I did get a handling call from my Ravager. So... Or the purple handling call from my Ravager, so... It's a bit unfair for me to complain, I guess. <laughs> With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. Guess I got a little bit pessimistic about it. But it was also just because I saw how much time it was costing me. Oh well well, from here on out there's no excuses. So all we can do is just play well. So let's go and do that. It'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, so they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. No chill, bitches. Hopefully that will be different than Forbidden West, though. Oh, it seems like it's gonna be different the way Carl's and weapons upgraded. 
Because they definitely talked about it. I'm just... Just curious to see how it actually turns out once we experience it for ourselves. Like, how weapon upgrades really are. Alright, made it. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover patch data? They've already shown a good amount of the machines. I do. And like small snippets and stuff. But then again, I also hold the opinion right now that, uh, Good to, uh... That in my opinion, I feel like they've already shown enough. They don't need to show more. Just release the game already. <laughs> Hey, Hades. Thanks for the good luck, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Going to the bathroom. Show me the Show me the and we'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Yeah. Be right back. I'm going to the bathroom. It's bad. Bad? Jesus less. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, th you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final fail. Crouching zero dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General All right, I'm and back. the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly <laughs> as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to me. Can't wait to playing Forbidden West. I'm I'm 99 sure Ted is gonna show up in that game. <laughs> and we'll see. Uh, <laughs> see how the reaction will be. By showing up, I don't mean alive. I'm sure we're gonna find out more holograms about what he did after the Alphas. <laughs> So, or you've but we don't think 
Up. What would eggs? Of course. Then what? I would. The pre. Right? You'll f be. I'll come. I can. Someday. We'll There we go. Now we're starting to save time again. We already know what's up though. I mean, we know a lot of it, but I'm sure there's more to it. Man, I have a feeling we might go to the bunker he was in. I could see that being on the map somewhere. The bunker he uh, was in when he did it. Maybe even find his corpse on some data points. Holograms. Blurred just got a 25x for Dual Cup. Damn. Has there been any matches yet in Dual Cup? Damn. Fleur, uh... Flair must be motivated after losing the final last time. Tomorrow is the first. Oh, cool. Who's raising tomorrow? I don't know. I could see it being something simple with Ted, where you just find him in his bunker and it turns out he... Uh, committed suicide after doing some things. Maybe there's something to what people are suggesting that he had something more sinister in mind, but I don't really know about it. What that he was part of the signal being sent? But we'll see. Him being alive, I don't... I don't think so. Having a clone possible, but... I don't know, I just don't think it's gonna happen. We'll see. Why so angry? What? Am I angry? Or do I come off as angry? <laughs> There's a good machine scan right now. I think the signal came from the Odyssey? I don't really know. Sub Michael? <laughs> But what about the reports that the Odyssey failed? There's a data point in the game that says the Odyssey failed. I forgot the details of it, but... But there's uh, one of them that said it was a failure. Fake news. Sure. These markings and colors. The nuke. That's brought them down from the north. We got a good campfire. Did I activate? Wasn't entirely sure if I got close enough there. But we're good. We are good. There we go. The talks are just waiting. We are your chopping shard person. Yes. We good. We still. We well. You let the ropes slip. What have you done? Who? Oh, I don't. This was all. It's for. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. 
I don't think I need to wait that long before fast traveling, but oh well. Thanks for the good luck, Hesh. Keep your distance. Hunters, the hunt the camp. is back. Do what you must. And where's the last one? Oh, he's right here. Didn't even need to restart from safe. Nice. Very nice. What are you getting stuck on? Get over here. Get over here. No, it's not getting any warmer out here. <laughs> Is that one of your emotes? The cat in the blanket. Nice. <laughs> Your comfy emote. Everyone huh? needs a good comfy emote. <laughs> Eclipse. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything there. Carry on. Thanks. Comfy mode is a uh, golden park. Nice. That's not a bad comfy mode. <laughs> ah, yes. Also a good cool emote. <laughs> Maybe we'll get more golden emotes if uh, he's in Forbidden West. And as we are already established, if there's no guild in Forbidden West, we will riot. Haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Maybe we'll all meet up in Amsterdam and riot. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this Until they add Gildan into the game. <laughs> ah. Please no. <laughs> How can it be a 10 out of 10 game without Gildan? We need a lot and savior. It looks pretty comfy. Well, it said Ferrari mods. <laughs> Maybe. I guess that my Ted Ferrari mods are the devil or angel emote, depending on your view on it. <laughs> 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 We've got intruders. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? A world. Fight there, but we got it. 
I now you're more see. interested in the hits of W having Gildan? Yeah. Like, imagine not liking Gildan. It's completely sacred. But there are people in this chat. And trust me, I know who you are. That say they don't like Gildan. Some even say he's a bad character. And you should be worried, because I know exactly who you are that says that. <laughs> Your reckoning will come when our Lord and Savior takes on the Antichrist. My freedom of speech. Like you ever had freedom of speed and speech in this chat. Foolish sentiment. Humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The mm. file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to so far, so good with this one. About halfway through the run, and... Then I'll be off. Yeah, about a minute ahead. Could have been more, but it is what it is. See how the second half of the run goes. Definitely was a lot of time to save to watch or throughout kind of like the second half of the run, so we'll build up a good lead. I am sure of that. Uh, yeah, then we'll start campfire. <laughs> so I guess the skeleton is the villain. That would be the... That would certainly change my perspective a bit. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior is the villain? All along? I don't know if I can... I don't know if I would be able to recover... Uh, from such an event, if that turns out to be the case. Not the most charismatic. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I already established a long time ago that Tep is the villain. It's just been so obvious the entire time. I rep you might just which tester that's a good
Good trial. <laughs> you could be sacrificed by the Tanakh. I mean, if somebody has to be sacrificed, well, Teb would be a good candidate. <laughs> Oh wait, it went that way. But there we go. Huh? You? That's a. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All three of those trials were super good. You had a choice between Ted and Gildan? You better say Ted. <laughs> Think about what your answer here is, Chris, before you hit that enter button. Time. I'll be. Think very carefully <laughs> before you hit enter. <laughs> You might be outcasted from the Elk Tribe. <laughs> With the wrong answer to this question. I'm not saying it without a lawyer. Good choice. You will be your first outcast of the Elk Tribe. A vantage. Another message from the past. You're allowed to be in all, I guess, embrace. But nobody will speak to you. As it's against tribal law. Excuse me. Very nice. Let me go over here. But then again, you would have the honor of being the first outcast of the Ultra. <laughs> if you consider that a good thing or not, that is up to you. <laughs> Twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. This old place. I haven't been here yet. Damn. Do you think uh, if you won the proving? And you were given the boon, they would allow you to outcast somebody else. That area back there. I'd be a bit harsh. <laughs> but now I do wonder, like, can you w get everything you want? And if so, could you outcast another person? <laughs> For winning the proving. <laughs> I mean, they do say get every anything you want, so... I mean, technically... Last time I checked, anything means anything. That's interesting. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? 
And why desecrate the shrine? Ooh, what are those scrappers picking at? Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. <laughs> yeah, outcast one of the matriarchs, Landra. That must be Alana. Sounds like she's in trouble. I wonder proving, and now I outcast Landra. Granted, it does come off sometimes as if the matriarchs are just making up rules as they go, so I'm not sure if they would allow it. In fairness. Someone loaded these supplies. from the cash i feel like this entire run every time i've been to the embrace it's been like heavily raining <laughs> pretty sure we also had heavy rain at the beginning of the run if i remember correctly well-made weapon. Hmm, I'm losing a bit of time here. Oh well. I don't have a that's possible. He lit don't work. He will. All mother. You're there. My. Okay. Oh, she. Still feels weird that we already <laughs> back from, uh, being at Grave Order in this run. I got so used to 100% runs where you had that one and a half hour doing Frozen Wilds. <laughs> but when you don't include the Frozen Wilds, it's like... All of a sudden, the run feels really short. <laughs> Still a hundred run nonetheless, it's just... It feels a lot shorter because of it. How much of an improvement this run can be, in your opinion? Uh, I don't know. I think if you played really well, you could probably get a sub 515, maybe? If you wanted to really optimize it, but it's not really my goal. Like, if I grinded this category a lot, getting sub 515 seemed like it could be a thing. 
sub 5 10 or even sub 5 seems like a stretch though It's always a little hard to tell when you haven't done too many runs. So you don't have enough data to give an accurate answer. <laughs> I don't think they've patched any of that stuff. Because the, no the patch notes didn't mention any anything like that. <laughs> They haven't patched anything game game stuff like that since like February twenty eighteen. I need to keep my kit dry. Shieldry represent is where you uh, get the shield reaver armor as fast as possible. You can do uh, a couple of tricks to get in to all the power cells early. I'm locked in! Yeah, the patch notes only mention graphic there? stuff and uh, NVIDIA and AMD things. They posted the patch notes oh, on uh, Reddit. Up them. Whatever. Yeah. Somebody might be able to link it to you. The outcasts must have if you tracks. haven't seen it. My focus should pick them up. You have all you no. Hmm. You have talk this here. I'll see. Sub Molt, how's it going? Here's I would gang you know sure I was the you'd like a real it that's right I'm done Yeah uh I haven't really looked at the, the news because I think they announced it just before I went live but but uh it seems like they are getting more strict with the uh, <laughs> I guess restrictions The only thing I saw in the headline was apparently the Corona Pass uh, lasts a bit shorter now. But it's gonna not last as long anymore. But other than that, I haven't really looked further into it. And you I did. Should all mother chest us. Well, I don't really know. Was there any other major restrictions? <whistles> Elementary schools get Christmas breaks two days earlier. Nice. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it seems like most of the spread is coming from, like, kits, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> kind of jealous, yeah. Did they do anything about the alcohol restrictions, though? I saw this morning there were talks about putting some restrictions on the sale of alcohol, but... Did they actually do anything with that? You can't buy alcohol after midnight. Ah, okay, fair. So, just like it was last winter as well. Mm. 
Yeah, basically killing the nightlife, yeah. But nightlife seems to be one of the biggest spreaders as well, so... I'm pretty sure most people saw that coming. That's so late. Yeah, but Danish people gotta get the alcohol. <laughs> we would have even bigger problems if uh, Danes couldn't get the alcohol. <laughs> I have to do my run sober now, yeah. Back to your business. Maybe I'll actually play well now that I have to do them sober. <laughs> You don't know what's gonna happen to that? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they're only restricting the sale of it, so... People can always just that. bring it. It's not really preventing you from doing that. You just need to make sure you buy it in time. <laughs> So I think it's gonna be just like last time, people are just gonna stock up on it, you know, early in the day and then, you know, just have it along. Drunk meme ready and well. I don't know, maybe on Friday I'll have a beer during the run. <laughs> when we'll continue it. I've petro uh, mm, that's you said out of and now yes, I'm not Is it just me or did All this So yeah, either people are just gonna like school parties and stuff, they'll just start them earlier or he will just set up the parties so they can get alcohol prior to midnight and then just have it around. Because if they're only restricting the sale, you know, people are still gonna drink. They're just gonna plan it out, I guess. <laughs> To be fair to them, their restrictions on football You're games dead. have kind of worked, so... It's definitely a lot more... Um, a lot, oh, sorry, a lot less violence at fo football games. After they stop having uh, the top matches at late in the day. time I would be satisfied with. I'm just gonna, like, depending on how the run feels overall is gonna be what decides it. So far, if nothing major happens in this run, I think I'll be satisfied with it, to be honest. So far, this run has been pretty solid. Keep the handling until we get a purple damage. So, like, if uh, this run keeps going as well as it is right now, I'll uh, I'll be happy with it. Uh, heavy. All I can do to hold it up. Uh. Come on, then, if you're coming. Run this down red, <laughs> She's working well so far. Room for improvement on the gun. No complaints about the gunner. <laughs> I 
Anyone but a bandit clan would pull back now. But yeah, I don't, I don't really have a time in mind for this category. I just want to run them satisfied with They're gathering under the bridge with the new route and the new strats. What? Whoa! <gasps> Might have oh. overdone. We'll get. Uh, it isn't safe. Oh. And so far, everything in this run, in relation to the new route and all the new strats, have been pretty good. So, but that makes me satisfied with it so far. But we still got a lot of run left to go, so we gotta keep it going. When we're going to Christmas this year, it's not entirely decided. Uh, it might be at my brother's place over in Copenhagen, or at my mom's place uh, here in Odense. But we haven't decided yet. It depends on how my brother and his uh, daughter... Because, uh, you know, she was born like uh, almost two weeks ago now, so... It depends on how that is going, whether they'll, whether they'll come to us here in Odense, or we go to them in Copenhagen. But it looks like, I mean, everything is going fine so far, so I think they're gonna come to us. Because uh, we have, oh, my mom has a lot more space and stuff, so. Plus, the day after, we are going to my grand grandmother for, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Christmas dinner, the day after. And then the day after that, we have Christmas dinner with my mom's side of the family, so, yeah. On the 24th, 25th, and 26th. Because those are the Christmas traditions we have. This chest looks like it's a boss round making. At least he's easy to follow. I just hope he's okay. So yeah, on the 24th, we usually hold it like every other year. It's either my mom holding it or my dad holding it. <laughs> uh, and this year, it's my mom's turn. And then on um, the 25th, we always go to my grandmother on my father's side um, to have Christmas dinner with her. Uh, my dad's side of the family used to come to that, but my dad and his sister are not really getting along anymore, so... So that's not a thing anymore, so it's just us and our grandmother, but oh well. Um, and then the 26th is always with my mom's family and all her sisters and my cousins. My mom's side of the family is a lot bigger than my dad's side of the family, so... You don't have to worry about it. It happened a long time ago, the thing with my dad and his sister, so. And at this point, I don't even think they entirely know why there's, uh, <laughs> why they are... Like, they can talk to each other, they just don't want to hold anything together. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. The only thing I can gather from it is, is, uh, it comes from some sort of jealousy or something. So, that's all I know about it. Because, <laughs> um, I guess it's because, uh, they... My dad and his sister, I guess, has a... Kind of very different lives, if you will. Or if we... You could put it that way. Whereas my dad has been... I guess, monetarily, you could say, has been doing quite well. <clears throat> his entire life when she has been kind of struggling for with a lot of things so I guess some of that and then jealousy and stuff and they just seem like they're complete opposites I guess is the way to explain it and something happened some years ago that I have never been able to understand and therefore they just stopped holding like family things together yeah, I guess uh, you could just describe it as a sibling rivalry. But to be fair to my, uh, what's it called, that's uh, sister, or I guess my uh, 
what's the word for it? Aunt? I guess is the word. I mean, whenever I meet her, she's like really lovely and all that. It's so she only has something against my father, and I don't know what it is. But yeah. So like, she's always nice to me and you know my brother and sister. There's never been anything there. It's just with my dad there's something. And again, I have no idea what it is. So. And uh, to be fair, they also don't seem to really know what it is, other than it's just some sort of jealousy. So yeah, <laughs> that's basically how I can describe it. Oh yeah. I'm sure somebody else in chat can kind of relate to that. <laughs> I see the alarm. Now, if I don't hear it too. And sadly, it does seem like a common thing for some. With uh, people in their family just not getting along for whatever reason. They must be the bandits' prisoners. Signals out. We're on our own. That's a really good fight. Pretty clean. <laughs> ah, okay. There's the good thing on my mother's side of the family with all my aunts there because my mom has like four sisters so I have four aunts on that side and all of them has like you know kids <laughs> there's a ton of cousins and we all get along on that side of the family at least on my mom's side so so that's good <laughs> i must be closing in on the signal <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should feel bad, a little bad for my granddad. He had like four daughters. Oh, sorry, five daughters. <laughs> One man living with four daughters and his wife. Oh, it's five daughters and his wife. <laughs> Now, in English, as far as I'm aware, it's just cousin whether it's a girl or a boy. You have five sisters and you're the only boy? Damn. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's just, you know, only man in the house. <laughs> you feel like the odd one out, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to make it out to be a bad thing. I'm sure you guys understand what I mean by it. It's just when you... She's like my sister always says she was like, because, you know, it's my brother, me and her. So she's like the only one of us, you know. Like, she's the youngest and she has two older brothers, so she feels like the odd one out. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, sadly you don't choose your own family. That's how it is some men sometimes, man. I always feel really bad when I hear somebody say they don't get along with their mom and dad because I have really close relationships with both of mine, so... So it always sucks, though, whenever you hear... Uh, whenever you hear it's not the case for others. Yeah, I must imagine if you have a f if you have a fallout with your dad, you probably get pretty close with your mother or opposite. They were curious too. It's pretty respectable that you haven't drank a girl in your 34. But I guess it's easy if you saw what it did to your dad, then I guess it's easy to stay away from it. In that sense. I also drink so little al alcohol these days. I have a beer every once in a while, but like maybe like one a weekend or one a week or something. But other than that, I rarely drink alcohol these days. Need to find a way through that shell. That being said, though, when I was in gymnasium and university, I drank so much <laughs> as you do when you are Danish and you're young, because that's. That's just what young people do in Denmark. <laughs> yeah, once you get older, it slows down, that's for sure. Or at least for most people, seems to be the case. And to be fair, like, even though I did it, I will fully admit it's kinda insane, actually, how much alcohol young people consume in this country. Not to sound like an old boomer, but... Let's just be honest, it's definitely the case. <laughs> Young people drink too much in Denmark. <laughs> but then again, I don't really know what to do about it, and for the most part it doesn't seem to really cause problem for most. It seems to be a thing in all the Scandinavian countries where alcohol is just so, so part of the culture that, and especially amongst young people, that it's just so common. <laughs> is that stigma as well which is uh, pretty bad to be fair where like if you're young like a late teen or early a young adult in Denmark it's definitely kind of like a stigma if you're not the type of person that goes out drinking every weekend and also when you're in gymnasium or university there's so much <laughs> emphasis on all the parties going on each weekend and obviously all of those parties involve alcohol, so... You know. That's where I need to go. Like, it's just such a cultural thing. <laughs> Is Denmark still number one in the world for, like, underage drinking? <laughs> Or not underage, just because our drinking law is different, but, like, for the longest time I heard we were number one for drinking under the age of 25 or whatever it was. In terms of the amount of people that drink. We probably still are, it wouldn't surprise me.
Oh yeah, I also got laid into it as well, Malt. But I can relate. I remember back even in like a, uh, you know, school. Uh, even back in school, like so many people started doing it so early, and I was not one of them ones doing it early. I didn't do it really until gymnasium, and you just you do kind of feel like the odd one out. <laughs> Same, Chris. That's it. More machines I can override. We're number one for youngest starting smoking age as well. Oh, that's pretty bad. But to be fair, there are still a lot of young people that smoke here as well. Thank God I never got into smoking, though. That is one thing I'm very thankful for. <laughs> But I guess I had the added benefit of uh, uh, both my grandfathers died when I was really young and both of them worked definitely because they were smoking way too much. So I guess that was a good motivator to never start smoking. Yo, Blaze, thanks for the 25-month reset. Didn't you recently reset? I feel like it wasn't that long ago, but thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, smoking is just, um... I don't know, I feel like they should just keep increasing the prices of cigarettes. They should just make cigarettes, like, stupid expensive. Either that, or they should make a law that, like, Supermarkets are no longer allowed to sell them, so you have to go to, you know, like, other stores to get them. Just make it as inconvenient as possible to get cigarettes. Either make the price too bit expensive, or, uh... Oh, what's it called? Uh, make it super inconvenient to, it, to get them. That would be what I would feel like. I don't think outright banning them would be a good idea, because... I don't know. I don't think that would work. But if you increase the prices or, like I said, made them really annoying to get, then I think uh, it would phase out fairly quickly over time. shooting there this has to be where they're holding Owen's family am I complaining about too much resolving no I'm just wondering because it felt like it wasn't a month ago <laughs> we heard the come up don't yeah exactly yeah he told me nothing yes I I will exactly then you're just gonna see a massive black market pop out of it. Because then people will just go to Germany and buy it in like really large quantities and bring it back home and sell them for cheap. And snooze? Yeah, I see so many, uh... I see a lot of young people use snooze these days. I actually don't know if snooze is really good or bad. Like for you. I'm assuming it's probably not the best, but I don't actually know how it it is health wise. But I do see a lot of young people using it. I'm sure you are better off if you don't use it, but I don't really know how it actually affects your health. Yep. 
You managed to yeet yourself out of the stream. Impressive. Did I ever scan a long lane? I guess I did. And my mouth is getting stuck in everything right now. I actually don't know what the health situation is if you take snooze. Even though there seems to be some sort of stigma that it's better than cigarettes. But being better than cigarettes is a pretty low bar, I think. Uh, I think we can agree on that. <laughs> if that's our standard for being healthy, then it's a pretty bad standard. <laughs> That's not good for your mouth. Oh. The more you know, I guess. <laughs> what is uh, I, I you who I am the which the one agree I don't know how rampant it is in other places, but it's just here in Denmark, now that you mention it. It's actually like I've so many young people you see you snooze. As far as I'm aware, I don't even think the government knows what snooze is, to be honest. Set. Shelf. Let. Uh, if you really put in a lot of effort and grind in this category, maybe for Subfire would be doable. Um, but I don't know. Let's do this. I don't have any plans on grinding it up that much. <laughs> Like, if I just get a run, I'm happy with them. Done with it. <laughs> and so far, I'm pretty happy with this run, so we'll see. <laughs> it originates from Sweden, yes. I mean, they also did that with cigarettes, where they have those cancer pictures on uh, the cigarette boxes now in Denmark. And as far as I can tell, they don't do jack shit. <laughs> I've been seen. So, if they did that to snooze boxes, I doubt that would <laughs> do anything. Uh, oh wow, I'm saving a lot of time here. Oh yeah, I messed up this watcher trial yesterday. I 
I mean, how many rabbits have I killed and not gotten the skin yet? Smoking have become cool again to do when you're young? Has it? I mean, obviously I'm not really... I don't really know what's popular these days, I guess, amongst young people, but... I don't feel like I see that many young people smoke them. Still see a lot of people my age smoke. Like in the mid-twenties. But uh, younger than mid-twenties, I don't know. I, I at least don't notice it. Maybe if I went to a schoolyard or something. I would notice it. Here's the last one. I think I saw him. There he is. A rough crop of time. There's a sick I'm picking up another signal. But all I know for sure is I feel like we at least in Denmark could do way more to prevent people from starting smoking in the first place and we definitely should do more and like I said I feel like my solution would be to either make it stupid expensive or make it really inconvenient to get a hold of Outright banning it will not work. Because we have tried that with other things and that clearly hasn't done anything. Really good tolling. I don't know. But uh, I'm sure if you're a smoker, you probably have ways of justifying it. <laughs> uh, vaping was kind of a big thing at one point here, but... I don't really see it that much anymore. Maybe I just don't know that. I remember when I was in gymnasium, vaping was like a big thing. I haven't seen it in a while though. I whistled from my mound earlier. Okay, it's not that far behind. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I do like a good 420 meme, but... Uh... <laughs> Can't deny that. Maybe that's the reason why people think it's cool again. It's because of all the 420 memes and all the... You see so much in media these days about smoking weed and stuff. <laughs> oh, 
Risky, but oh well. Guess it paid off. then run we only kill two stormbirds kill the one doing the, from the skies and then and then the one on ritz defense but technically speaking you could complete the game killing only one stormbird you just have to make sure you loot the one on rich if you're quick enough. That's it. More machines I can override. What have you done? Kill the cabbage. Cut her down. Are you kidding me? There we go. Jump can be a little annoying. <laughs> Yeah, for the under slots and Bren, you can kill any. You can like kill any stormbird you want. Doesn't have to be the one the quest tells you to kill. So that's why I'm thinking you could actually just do the one on Ritz defense and get both the trophy for the under slots there and the blood for Bren. But you wouldn't be able to finish on the last quest then. So that's but technically it is possible <laughs> they know I'm here now to kill the one on death from the skies no matter what right yeah you can't skip the one on death from the skies i think you're right now I think about it i think you have to um i think you are forced to kill that one like turning off the lures is not enough now I think about it
So if you just turn off the lowers, the stormbird just goes away? Really? Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I've never tried it, but uh, I'll take your word for it. bomb jump you can get a little uh it's a little more precise than it looks but uh you can uh jump you uh, get a little bit extra height if you we don't know how they got jump using a bomb which uh, i used right there so i didn't have to do the very long intended climb you normally have to do to get up to that vantage point Yeah, I always thought the bird was a stone bird was a requirement for the quest. Granted, in hundred percent, it's always just been the best stone bird to kill, but so that's why we always always just kill that one. But well, I never thought about whether it was required or not. It just seemed like it was. <laughs> Because I thought maybe you wouldn't be able to look at the notes and the work sh or in the hideout until the bird was dead or something. Maybe I'll test it out one day, see if it's true. But uh, for now, I'm, like I said, I'm taking your word for it. And good evening to you, Gully. What are you doing? If the thief came this way, uh, for a second I didn't jump far enough, but we're good. Forward. We are good. Did you? Yeah, I did. He would not a The thief must have ditched the sword. She says that in her dialogue. Maybe he had help. Hmm. Fair enough. That <laughs> you really paid attention, dude. I guess it would make sense because it does tell you you can do the quest at a fairly low level. What? Or the recommended what? level is fairly low spent. considering there's a storm bird there, so. I guess it makes sense you don't have to kill it. London will be safe from corruption. Go on. Where in the world? Had an egg for breakfast here. I'm here. I see. I brought. Here, but the when I vet oh, meet me. You want to help? I live sometimes out in the what are you? All right. All right. Messed up the split here. I think I messed up these splits yesterday, maybe. Looking at them? I guess we'll have to split on some judgment. Whatever. I'm not sure why they messed up. I must have split it wrong yesterday. By accident. Came through here. Leon seems like a good place to start out. What about? I, uh, no. 
Well, he wasn't suspicious at all. Time to take a look at Hello, Gavon. You wouldn't have gotten this off without help. Uh, no. Are you not? <laughs> you know, I'll do me this. Hopefully those splits are correct again on some judgment. Looks like Alita left a few things. If not, they should just correct themselves at some point. It looks like I missed up some splits yesterday. But then again, I also missed a lot of splits yesterday, so it makes sense. I've got all the best goods here. Splits weren't exactly on point yesterday. Don't forget to stock up. For those who remember the run yesterday. People are charging for a good we'll find better wares. Stairs. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Guess we just have to manually add in those splits times after the run, but whatever. It always happens during a hundo run. The pedals end here. Never so perfect with the splits in hundo. Because there's so many splits. <laughs> Looks like I'm in for a long swim. Also check which machines I've scanned or not soon. I'll do it after or well, before I fast roll here. I think I'm doing pretty good on machines, but surely there's one I've missed. Rockbreaker should on paper be the only one I haven't gotten yet, so we'll see. Oh wait, watcher? <laughs> Grace or what the fuck? And red eyed watcher. On rock break. Okay. Apparently I didn't never got the watcher and graze him. Well there you go. It's always something you forget. <laughs> if this Gavon came through here, the end seems like a good place to start asking. Well he wasn't suspicious at all. Time to take a look around. No problem, that. Enjoy your sound. This barrel's been moved recently. There we go. Tracks. Good day. And good day. Ah, uh, cut. I found the rules. We got the fox skin. So now we only need the rabbit skin. Which we could get right here. No. Certainly not. Spoiled fruit. The rabbits seem to like it though. And look, a thief dropped more food for me to follow. I can see it on this grass. So just like yesterday, still missing the rabbit skin. Oh well, still a good time to get it. Some collectibles. I did get the fox skin ring. Yeah, I did pick it up. Good. Just making sure. <laughs> Sometimes I have picked it up before where 
or uh, where my inventory was full or something, so I didn't pick it up exactly, even though I looted the box. no reason to go out of my way to farm them this early in the run so still have like two hours left to find a rabbit so there'll be plenty of more rabbits to come so that's how I will get it as long as I keep keep it in mind that I need to get it There's a weapon or an outfit of the shadow items that require a fox skin, boar skin, and rabbit skin. I think it's the rattler. You need it for, but I'm not sure. But it's one of them. It is Rattler, okay. Cool. And I remembered correctly. <laughs> you might also hear me in 100% run see, say I got the extra watch heart. So there's one of the outfits, I think it's one of the outfits that require you to have uh, two watcher hearts. And at the end of the run, you can only buy one watcher heart. Uh, come on. Where did he run off to? Oh, my mount is not even going to catch up. So it's too late. Uh, I, so you, I, bus. Great. Like my splits are correct again after this, so it's only the last two splits that were messed up. There we go, and now we're back with five minutes ahead now. Nice. Building up a good lead now. Let's keep it up. A snore survivor, okay. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> On to the eclipse space.
Taylor. You're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Why did Silence dialogue get cut off there? What? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that before. That's new. <laughs> All right. What now? You wait. That's what. Let's see what's through here. Corrupted machines. Controlling my guards. Held in reserve for the world to come. You'll have to get past them. That way. I didn't say it would be easier. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Jesus. Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. Keep moving or you'll die. Oh. Keep moving. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Oh. Pretty good at club space. Oh, I gotta stretch out when you have a chance. <laughs> Get pretty stiff from these long runs when you're sitting down. Time for the final bandit camp. skin. There you go, she's dead. What? Excuse me. Excuse me, princess. Come! Don't waste my blood! 
Pretty solid fight there. Do 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 do. Over top to nil. So I'm um, like, yeah, call there's. Ask Mesa. Now I need to find some place too high to reach, if I'm to believe anything <laughs> Fanon said. Yeah. I mean, given that it's the second run with these splits, I'll just naturally be a lot of golds. for you. That's the last of them. But for none to run off. Right to the Meridian Dock. That's out of the volume one of the Horizon comics. Days. The ones about Talana or the ones about uh, Aaron? Nice. Enjoy it. Right there, pretty good. Oh, you almost got it right. <laughs> At least from how I remember it's felt. <laughs> spawn behind me of course <laughs> yeah that's how I would say would have spelled it as well with a H at the end instead of in the middle of the name No 
go. Should have used triple shots there instead. Oh well. We cleared it anyway. Welcome back, Seth. Ho there! I thought they'd send soldiers. The mighty Karja Empire must be more strapped than I thought. How sad. No matter, I'm curious. I don't suppose those behemoths are called to the prison killed Geneva. You're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. That's why I have my toys. To distract me from the pain. Not yet, little acrobat. <laughs> I think we all would want to do that. Whoopsie! <laughs> but you're still alive! But the good thing is, we're only getting closer. Yes. Oh! You're a trickster! Wait, excuse me? There we go. You got <laughs> Halo is so nice, exactly. <laughs> Slippery rock, apparently. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It <laughs> just wouldn't let me jump up there. That's too. They. That's smart. <laughs> you can see how many days go. By. <laughs> Wait. Don't need to whistle him. Bad idea to whistle, actually. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and almost 70 days left. Yep, getting closer by the day. One day we are just gonna wake up and it's gonna be that Friday when the game comes out. Must be Ronamon's family estate. Unless you are just gonna play it on the first day evening, and I'm sure you're gonna be able to play at midnight. Just waiting I for the countdown, I guess. Attack without warning. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll probably end up playing it at midnight. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really thought about that, but I'm sure I'll figure it out once we get closer. You like what I have for sale, I promise. You're back to uh, please. Fine goods for a fair price. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Only the finest I've got all the best here. goods here. I've got all the best goods here. Metal pot here, good prices, Only the fair prices. Here. Fair she has by the seventh net. I can wait. I hunters, scrap. You pick our no. Hunters, scrounger. You pick our no. Hunters, scrounger. Wait, I don't have the long limbs? Metal. 
Guess I accidentally sold it. We'll come back for that later. Hey, Clooney. Oh, no. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Well, that's a bit of a annoying mistake, but... I could tell that on But apparently I sold the long leg lens. Oh well, if I get a snap more lens or or that we'll just go back for it. I'm gonna get a snap mall answer. Nice. When I kept I find the seat, I'll tell and she doing it for the Mount pathing here is a little bad. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't know the bridge is there. Why are you rebuilding your new game plus file? To get rid of long roll or something? Where the Banuk wants to paint his mark. Can you just transfer your save file from PS4 to your PS5? You were up there. Yeah, that's the mission. There we go, and let's go back and finish this quest that I messed up. Well, luckily these guys are Don't close to the campfire, so it's not that much time loss, but still annoying that I messed it up. I have still annoying. No, we won't know how much time I've lost until I'm done with Honor the Fallen. Because we're still on the Honor the Fallen split. 
turn if you defy our king. What? A car our march. And yet I, I am. If you I have. I will. Though you'll be. Yeah, so roughly 30 seconds. Oh well, it is what it is. Just gotta make sure we don't make that mistake next time. Go Six, thanks for one year. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, that's a long time to support. It means a lot to me, so thank you. Hope you're doing well. Really appreciate it. One year of unjust bans, what? <laughs> Don't blame me for that, that's probably Seb's fault. But he'll probably just take pride in knowing that. To be fair. I think he's just talking about deleted messages. <laughs> <laughs> 80 seconds in a whole year? Damn. That's harsh. <laughs> Cost untold harm. <laughs> tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nicole is Looking forward to the lawsuit about that. <laughs> Prisoners. I'm the I've I'll help the others. Let's go. To destroy the unfaithful. Ooh, one shot. Let's go. You get my what if the up they need time? Look, if you thank. Very nice. These people are still memeing about that. <laughs> I mean, they've been memeing about that in my channel for like forever now. At least a year, probably more. I'm not sure when it actually started. About time you showed up. More Glen Hawks incoming. I'm not even sure who started it. 
Probably Charlie. Just die already. Start in Rogers chat? Really? Fair enough. Oh yeah, I think you're right actually. That seems to put more Because yeah, didn't he do the whole nightbot thing where he got nightbot to automatically time it out? And then it spread like a disease over to my chat. <laughs> Amateurs will leave easy tracks to follow. He got his own butt, but yes. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, damn programmers flexing their self made butts. These must be the snap maw hunters. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm not my. No, no. You are a d good. Aloy. Congrats. You, of course. Wait, I'd like. Not a gold reset, yeah. It's not a gold only run. Is it even a run? What's the per point? <laughs> Runs dead. Yeah, let's just uh, pack it up, call it a day, and say this run was a failure. I don't know. I mean, imagine having so low standards that you get not gold splits and continue. Like, what? If every split you do is not a gold split, what is even the point? <laughs> Like, are you really speedrunning if you're not getting gold splits? I don't think so. Set up. There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. Why did I just not pay attention there? God damn it! Oh well, very minor thing. Let's not worry about it, shall we? Don't clump up. Uh oh, what's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Die, you devil! These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus Menden, fight back. Those rocks, they're shattered. 
Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. No problem, Rip. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm also starting to feel a little tired, but gotta stay focused so we can finish this run as well as possible. Twenty, roughly, at the moment. <laughs> I'm picking up another signal. West Coast US, I assume. Well, it's still pretty early in the day, I guess. <laughs> Let me just make sure it's still only grazing, right? Yeah, only grazing. Am I missing? This time I gotta remember to hit the mount. America, America, fuck yeah, coming in to set the motherfucking day, yeah. <laughs> if only I could ride a stone bird. <laughs> okay, they're heading back. <laughs> Fair enough, Wilkins, sir. I'm glad I can be entertainment for you. I must be closing in on this. Are you watching me while at work or something? How does it? Work from home? Fair. So many people watch me while at work or school. Cool. <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna make this. Get off the mount, Aloy. Yeah. Okay. Phew. That was a little close, but we got it. Your office never reopened yet. Maybe you work for one of those companies that are planning to just always do work from home. I know some people would actually prefer that, but I can get out of this. I guess that varies a lot from person to person. 
I've seen some companies talk about why they even need to have an office since they can easily operate everyone from home. Or maybe just have a small office. Because, you know, office space does cost a lot of money. But there are definitely people that prefer to go to the office every day rather than... Rather than sitting at home working. Depends on who you are. Activate the campfire. Wasn't quite sure. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure like 90% of office jobs in existence could probably be done from home. So many companies, I would imagine, would be able to save so much money. Not having to have a massive office. Something. <laughs> like, did you guys know the people that made Ori? Uh, the Ori games? When they made Ori and the Blind Forest, they had, like, uh, always done... They had always done, like, work from home. And when they released Ori and the Blind Forest, they had never met each other in person. Only a few of them had actually seen each other in person. Kind of interesting story. <laughs> Got company, I think. I'm not sure if they still operate like that, but I think they do. I forgot what they're called, the studio that makes Ori. Uh. Moon Studios, thank you. That's their name. But yeah, it's pretty interesting that they were able to do that. I think it was only like the two founders of the company that had known each other in person and everybody else had never seen each other until they met up after the game was released. You know, to celebrate it. <laughs> pretty impressive. But I guess that can work really well as long as you have, you know, everybody that works there has a solid internet connection and management does a good job of keeping everyone on the same page. <laughs> yeah, the lasers are kind of annoying. Still have uh, yet to play Will of the Wisp though. I really need to get around to playing it. Still haven't done it. But I definitely feel like that's one game I'm missing out on not having played. So a lot of you in chat even said it was like your game of the year last year. Or uh, Will of the Wisp. Are you? I but I can't. What? No, my. 
There at that's me. it is as it I if I oh but I'll Wait, I forgot to go to the I forgot to go to the thing. Let's do that first. I didn't even activate it. God damn it. That's some stupid time loss. That well, was a dumb mistake. Oh well. You shouldn't lose that much time. At most, I think this loses like 20 seconds. They're not really grouped together today. The last three guys came down one by one. Normally they're better grouped together for some bomb shots. Oh well. Unfortunate. <laughs> Time loss detected, run is reset. It didn't rhyme as well as I thought. Oh well. <laughs> oh, we're out of place. Should get some blaze from the Thunder Jar though. <laughs> Talk you out of ordering in snacks. You're gonna regret it, Seth. So don't do it. Just hope I see it before it sees me. I don't know, that's was like the best argument I could think of on the spot. Ooh. Fine. Got the stupid rabbit skin. But you want to? Do you really want to though? Is the question. Like, are you only getting the snacks because you're bored? Instead of being hungry, I guess. I don't know, I'm trying my best to talk you out of it. <laughs> hey, Doreen. How are you doing, man? Who are we to tell you otherwise? <laughs> I mean, I tried my best. I don't know if I was successful. Traitors. She's it's but don't oh, wait. Half. We had to talk to the healer. I have on it's what a... <laughs> it's have no small ones. You don't know what to do with the game awards? What about them? Oh, whether you're gonna watch them or not? I'm probably not gonna watch it. At least not live, because it's like so fucking late for Europeans. Who is this smartass that had the brilliant idea of using West Coast time for their international show? Like, why couldn't they just transmit it on like an East Coast time and just have it early in Los Angeles? Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back so stupid. Around. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shots. The way, best way to talk someone out of something is to encourage them. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if you should react to it on the Horizon channel, because uh, because there's gonna be a lot of copyrighted music in it. I'm not gonna watch it on stream. 
I'm not gonna take any risk with that. Very important that you hear what I'm about so to much copyrighted music in the game of what's. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No Pretty much all the advertisements they do of the game on what's have like do them uh, or hold your peace. DMCA music. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. So I don't know. I'll probably either I'll just watch uh watch the show when I wake up or uh Welcome or like go watch a recap of the important Someone. announcements. We found it. I know some people say there might be a Forbidden West trailer, but I have my doubts. I don't think there will be a Forbidden West trailer at the Game Awards. What was this place? A holographic theater. CDN1 data intact. Initiating playback. That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth. Well, they'd be fine if you exist. don't save the bot. I don't know. Twitch is a bit more aggressive with the live but DMCA was, stuff, so somehow, I don't know. Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Sweet stone, I guess. She did it. But also, it's so late at night. I, there's no way I'm watching it live. It's gonna lights. completely fuck my sleep schedule if I attempt it. So I'm just gonna not do it. What is this? So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. Intruder! A machine Get her! Creation. Whatever you do, oh! don't die now. Oh! Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need here we go. Another one of these. Need to find found one. Looks intact. Looks like that card I found upstairs will fit here. That should do the trick. I don't know. Up to you, Dorian. I it's just me door. personally I wouldn't do it with my own stream, but Especially because they said Imagine Dragons is gonna do a couple of numbers at the show and it's just like that Yeah, that's DMCA. <laughs> And also, I wouldn't subject my ears to Imagine Dragons if I can avoid it. So. Look out! Take cover! They're not bad. Their music is, I would say, it's average. But it's one of those bands where once they have one song out, you're gonna hear it like. 1,000 times. They're one of those guys that are or bands slash singers that are just played all the fucking time on the radio whenever they have a new song. So I don't like I don't like the music. I also don't hate it. It's very average, but it's just so overplayed. And also, to be fair, in my opinion, I feel like most of the songs sound like identical. But I'm sure some would argue some of the bands I like also sound identical, but whatever. It's just my opinion. <laughs> just my opinion. Take it or leave it. It's kind of like Ed Sheeran. Like, Ed Sheeran's music is not necessarily bad, it's just so fucking overplayed. All the time. It doesn't. I you and then this be a oh, after I will. What you're in it, fa you know, you're fa and I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this room. Maybe I could use the strength against it. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. I don't know, just my opinion. But I'm sure they have a lot of fans and stuff. They do seem to be quite popular, it's just not for me, I guess. Now 
Now you're just a big dumb target. Come and get it! Those components on the sides of its head, they've got something to do with his lift attacks. Solid fight. <laughs> Do you guys think there will be a Horizon trailer at the Game Awards? I've seen a lot of people talk about it. It's just I don't know. I don't really believe it. I'll be I'll be pleasantly surprised if there's one, but eh, something just tells me there won't be one. I think there's probably going to be some Sony trailer, I just don't think Forbidden West is going to be it. And also, I'm just so tired of the Game Awards, because... Like, it, obviously they call themselves the Game Awards. Like, they are the definitive award show. Which... They're not... They aren't really, I guess. And also, their show is just more about announcing new games and show ads rather than the actual awards like the awards almost just feels like an excuse to have the show yeah but they're not like the oscars at all like i mean on some levels sure they are but on other levels like this, like, for example, how games are voted on, for example, are completely different. And also, as far as I'm aware, the the Oscars doesn't have announcement trailers for new stuff and all that. And, you know, the Oscars is about the awards. It's sure, I guess they have advertisements, but they don't have like, I don't think they have announcements for new stuff. But granted, I haven't watched the Oscars like in forever, so I wouldn't know. But it's pretty clear they want to be like considered the Oscars on video games, but they aren't really. Yeah, I think even I mean Jim Jeff Kelly, the guy that runs the game awards, I mean he's obviously not dumb. He obviously treats his show more as a uh, more as an like a E3 showcase and the awards is kind of like secondary. I'm sure he cares about awards and all that, but this no, you you know. With the way the show is, you know, it it's pretty clear that if they didn't have the game announcements and all that, nobody would truly care about the show. <laughs> and also from what some developers are saying, like, developers don't actually care that much about the Game Awards. Like, it's cool if they win and get nominated, but other than that, it's like, they don't really care. They care a lot more about the... What's the other award show? Uh, the one that the public doesn't watch, but developers like to watch. Uh, I always forget the name of it. Uh... Unpleasant, but that's what the fuck is the name of it? I can't remember the name right now. DDC? I think it's G DDC, yeah. But in that award show, it's actual developers voting for it. So it feels better in that way. You know, Game Awards is just a bunch of journalists. It might be GDC that has a... I just think their award show is called something else, though. Ignore them. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I know. But there's no denying for sure, Jeff Keighley is a great entertainer and he clearly has made a great show and all that and a lot of people like it, it's just... I just don't think it's for me, to be honest. 
<laughs> so that's why I'm probably just not gonna watch it. I'm probably just gonna look up what got announced. And if the Horizon trailer is there, sure, I'll watch it. Give my me reaction to it. <laughs> it's just something that tells me there won't be a trailer. I still think we're gonna see another trailer before... Um... <clears throat> Uh, before the game releases, I just don't think Game Awards is gonna be where it's at. Personally. I think they're gonna release some sort of story trailer once we get close to release. But yeah, I also think it's gonna be closer to the game launch, like in January, maybe at another state of play. I could see them do another state of play in like uh, January, where they probably also get God of War a release date. Like God of War Ragnarok. Pretty good shooting. Then he will. I mean, if you want to do it, you should do it. But uh, yeah, obviously the time of day is an issue, and just be careful with the MCA. Yeah. But uh, I shouldn't talk you out of it. If you want to do it, you should do it. <laughs> All mother. So, she out. Also, some people have asked me if I think Forbidden she, West is gonna win the win the most yeah. anticipated game award, and my answer to that is fuck no. <laughs> I don't think Forbidden West will get that award. Obviously, there's a lot of people excited for Forbidden West, but I think there are more people excited for Breath of the Wild 2 and uh, and God of War. <laughs> I would be shocked if they got the prize for that, but let's be honest, most anticipated game means like nothing. <laughs> it's just like literally what game are people most hyped for is literally what that award is, and hype doesn't necessarily mean anything. In terms of how good a game is. I think Breath of the Wild 2 is just gonna get that award easily. This is going to be interesting. And the game of the year award, I actually have no idea who's gonna win that one. And see, I would guess it's probably either Metroid Dread or between Metroid Dread or it takes two. Yeah, it's not tonight, it's uh, tomorrow. <laughs> it's a uh, Friday night for us, I guess. Oh, well, we still have that night put come in. <laughs> Also, have they announced how long the show is gonna be? Because normally it's like three or four hours, so it's like a pretty long show. Which is another reason why it's really annoying <laughs> with all the ads. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, we have all the skins, we're good. Just making sure I have them. Nah, I think they're probably gonna announce it on the day. Shows like that usually announce like their estimated length on the day. You know, for media and stuff, they kind of need to know like how long it's gonna be. So I think that's why they usually do it. The way to the mountain will be hard. 
Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted. Hey, Lex. Corrupted. How are you doing? But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? I remember I still need to scan a grazer. I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to a grave. By the way, um, who is it that we're running the first race in the Duel Cup tomorrow? And is anybody hosting it? Like on the stream? Weaver versus Alton. Okay. And it will be hosted. Cool. Probably by you, Zygo. Nice. Let's see if. Uh, Weaver can keep the crown. Uh, am I screwed here? Oh, no. I managed to find a way up. Even though people told me earlier that uh, apparently Flora has gotten a really good run already in practice. So that's cool. Wasn't Yusef that told me the uh, flare had gotten like a 25? It's pretty good. 25, 35? Damn. Uh, quick. That is quick. I assume that's the best practice time so far. I haven't at least not heard of anyone getting anything better. I think Weaver said he got a high 26 though. You made a at one point. Path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path. Either. You're barely under 27? Sounds like you have some work to do. <laughs> you got a secret skip? Hmm. This is exactly the kind of. But you not the yeah. Has he not been streaming in his practice? So you guys don't know what the skip is? Entry authorized. Greetings. Mind your footing. I don't know, it's a little bit unethical perhaps to hide a skip. Especially if it can be used in like actual runs like 100% for example. Guess that's my I don't know. Cross. Especially if it saves a lot of time. Not a fan of that, but oh well. I guess it kind of comes with the territory of having tournaments. Yeah, I mean, we'll see it soon enough. He'll, I guess he'll have to show it <laughs> at some point. It's not that big of a deal. Must have been where they lived. I'd be more concerned if he was using it to like get faster times on the leaderboard and was trying to hide it. <clears throat> But for a tournament, it's not necessarily that big of a deal. At least for me. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but it's 
engine is tiny. Unless, I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no main quest stuff, right? This is Charles Ronson. In your in the dual covering, so if it was affected in the main game, then I would definitely be pretty pissed. But but if it doesn't, then yeah, then it doesn't matter too much. I feel like if you find a 30 second skip for the main game, you you better show it off. <laughs> that would be pretty disrespectful if you didn't do that. I mean, you would be a. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to do a run with it yourself first, but definitely would need to show it eventually. <laughs> Can't keep hiding stuff like this. We don't want to turn into the Mario Kart community, right? Rushed in from this side. Because there was no I'm locked out of court control. Alpha clearance the overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Huh. A fifth power cell. They must fit somewhere. Here we are. <clears throat> Could definitely go for a bathroom break doing a hologram here. So I'm definitely going for it. <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about needing to go to the bathroom for the last hour of the run. So we can finish as strong as possible. Do 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 do. No. She that's not. She won't. Can she doesn't. You to get if it won't. You're up. What? Alright, I'm going to the bathroom doing this. Be right back. I'm locked out of court control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh... <clears throat> I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, 
innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Atmosphere. All right, I'm back. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. <laughs> For how it but the some the truth it and I have because when I now which hate yeah yeah so I take my then I ex oh all right six minutes ahead now looking good we should have some big time saves towards the end as well. It'll be interesting to see what the final time ends up at. Looks like it might be mid 520s, which is pretty good. Gonna be lurking, no problem. This isn't a cave, it's a ruin. A holocron. These devices are missing power cells. <laughs> I'll have Thank to you, find sir. power cells to get these to work. Bring me that Nux luck. I just need a slot. That's two. It's some kind of. Maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that looks like each dial has four positions. Um, maybe if I get each. Did it. Now to check the door. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to just need to install these power cells. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. Hey, dude. All powered up. Thanks for well, your luck. How are you doing? The dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Did it. All right. Now let's see what we can do with this material. OP drip I cried. <laughs> Indeed. But first we have to wear the shadow kajama just to go back to Sunfall. I so we can I go to the Nasha here. What a what will you use? Looking good indeed. <clears throat> I think I have a lot of time to save in this quest because I had some bad shooting on it yesterday. So 
So let's just get some good shooting this time. Three dead trees. <clears throat> just like Vanasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. I'm always scared she's not gonna grab that one right there because I had that one time where she just refused to grab it. Which was uh, just a tad annoying. <laughs> You know, just a tip. All right, food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. dead machine. Luthid's been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Luthid's been gathering components, probably for ammo. No trick. Oh. Who? They thought it took. What? <laughs> Help me, fool! Move in! We'll send the rest as soon as they arrive. Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. <laughs> Now, men, rally. We can still finish them. That won't be the last. Nice. Follow me. I've stashed supplies up above. Solid shooting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Target practice quest. <laughs> that is indeed the name of this quest. Up and over. <laughs> Grab what you can while we still have time. attack. No shit. I have a lot more experience surviving. I think it's one more. Yep. Mm 
Come on. She's coming for me. Excuse me. That's the last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough. That second shot was not a miss. Now there's hope for justice. I disagree. Whatever council decided that that was a miss, I disagree with them. <laughs> this won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Cross there and we'll have him. After. Scalp the savage. He was said he would blood the You Make it hurt. Up to his perch. Could have been prettier, but I'll take it. I think it was better than yesterday, by the looks of it. <laughs> Whatever you remember with Buck, what with Buck, fine. It can help. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, that was what I was aiming at, but not what I intended to hit, so. <laughs> I don't know. If you go by loose definitions, I guess. Aren't I go I'm the to be. You I. Go for this. You can. Oh, I good. Alright. Final hunting round. Let's go. Let's go get it. No, it's not what I wanted to do, game, and you know it. Ouch. You can justify almost anything but loose definitions. Uh, sure. <laughs> I, I use good luck. Good luck. Except killing over. You're still not over that, aren't you? Tremble. Let's see if the Thunder Joe is gonna be kind, but it looks like he actually is. No. Oh. Fair enough. They can't see anything, what the hell? Final draw. 
the other one. Very nice. Very solid Sun Pharaohs. I've seen uglier ones. There we go, all the blazing suns. <laughs> Getting a lot of golds in a row here. We love to see it. It's a setup. Just go about your business. Very nice. My body feels so stiff today. <laughs> Having to stretch a lot. There we go. Information to help me override more machines. That's a nice TG, it is. It is indeed. Now for the final corrupted zone. Slowly but surely getting close to the end.
You play it today and you see a lot of gold. Nice. <laughs> How are you doing, Pluggy? Just in time for the ending, though. <laughs> but I take it you're not a fan? <laughs> Certainly not my favorite music in the game, but don't really have any complaints. <laughs> Is there a reason to reset it? It's just with the new 100% route, I was like, might as well optimize this category with the new route. Not optimize it, but you know, just get a solid run in with the new route and the new strat for hundred percent. Given that my old record was like two and a half years old. So it's kinda like it's not gonna take a lot of effort to just get a an improved run in this category, so So that's why. But uh, I think I'm going to be pretty satisfied with this run, given how it's gone so far. Not really anything major happened in it, and it's pretty solid time-wise, so I'm going to be very happy with this. Sub five hours? I don't know. Probably, maybe, if you were to grind it out a lot. It might still be a stretch to get to sub five, though. But uh, I don't plan on grinding for sub-5. Like I said, once this run is done, I think I'm happy with it, and then that's gonna probably be my time unless somebody beats it. <laughs> but nobody runs 100%, so it'll likely be the time to stand for the end of time. <laughs> and just don't really care enough in this category to grind it up. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> nah, there might still be people running this game. I know a lot of the PC guys that don't plan on buying consoles are still going to be running this game. But obviously the leaderboards are split between PC and console, so... And hey, I mean, I, I'm sure once Forbidden West is out, even if it's a fantastic speedrun and all that, I will focus on it for a while, but... I'm probably still gonna end up coming back to this game occasionally. I just don't think this category will be the one I would come back to, though. <laughs> Out of all the categories, this is probably not gonna be the one to come back for. Long term. Only one way out of this the fight. 
I remember I don't have that much damage on my bow. In the next speedrun, I'm gonna be grinding a new game plus ultra. Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. Just notes about crafting. It's the plan. Could have been better. Oh well. Wasn't terrible, but I guess I overestimated how good my uh, damage card was. Why is none of you playing? Okay. I don't think I could survive another attack. I better speak to whoever's in charge. Huge. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, I see how's the record right now. Turn off. Turn off. By the what is I so we'll have to get it back. This on the. Oh. And there's a couple of new strats I have to learn as well and all that. So, uh, we'll see. But it's been pretty while since I actually got the 144, so... Who knows? 143 is definitely something I'll go for, and then we'll see from there. Who knows, maybe I'll be stupid enough to even push it to 142. Doesn't seem like that much of a stretch anymore with all the new strats. So, could potentially be a thing, but I think that's gonna require like a godlike run. But we'll see where things stands. Or stand. Uh, I'm missing a... I'm missing a flower. Because that's at 28 out of 30. So I have forgotten a flower. Damn it. No idea which flower I've forgotten. Guess we'll have to find that out by buying a map. Not sure which flower I've missed. Actually, I think I know which one it is. I think I forgot to get the one on two old acquaintances. The one next to the two funded yours. I th think it might be that one. But not 100% sure. I'll just buy a map to be safe so I don't waste too much time on it. land over here. Now I find <laughs> this fluid's powerful. Burns at my fingers, but not like the corruption does. Done. No more lures. Now about this. Sir Durval was behind these lures. 
Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. Oh wait. Fast roll to the wrong spot. It's supposed to be the campfire, because that's closer. You'll be the work good. I assume you none of you guys remember which um which flower I missed. Because <laughs> I have no idea which one it is. My bet is two old acquaintances, but it's probably not. I'll just buy a map and figure it out. Nope. You I it look the map. My name Weapon. There we go, done with Britain. This is supposed to be the last flower and it says 29. So I've clearly missed one. But uh, I'll buy the madam in Pittsburgh and figure it out. I can arg. Why? And now. What? If I. Uh, now. You, oh. <sighs> Time for the big boom. Three behemoths and one shot. Let's go. I need to get one of those. 60 handling. I think this one had a damage. Yeah. Let's do some crafting here. Definitely used to upgrade. Forget about traveling life. That's some really good calls, actually. But definitely losing time on this split. Also, I have to get the map, so that's gonna lose me a bit of time just to see what flower it is. Yeah, uh, where's the merchant here? Let's quickly look at the map. Okay, it's not too old, the Quinn's. Uh, is it over here? No. Okay, I literally have no clue which flower it is then. Which is not a good sign. This takes time to look at this map. Um. Oh. Okay. That is a bad one to have missed, but okay, we'll get it afterwards. Well, we'll get it after Queen's Gambit, I guess, will be the best place to get it. 
You've got and just mm, I, I, uh, I could God damn it. That's a stupid one to forget as well. Yeah, I just forgot to pick it up, I guess. Because that's what you do in any percent or new game plus. So I guess I just rain pot it. In that sense. <laughs> in those categories, you just, you ride the same spot, but you just obviously ignore it. Because it's a waste of time. Breaker here, but it is what it is. Yeah, he's gonna take down even though he's dead. Good old fashioned spawn killing right there. So, yeah, it's literally just a dumb mistake that I've missed. But oh well, it happens. Got the loot because yesterday we were also short on shots and stuff, so gotta make sure I pick up loot. Looks like I'm clear. Pretty good fight there, though. And now, unskippable cuts. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Very close to the finish here. Pretty good pace as well. If I do say so myself. You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Oh wow, this was quick. <laughs> oh really? Uh, so, remember when we talked about the Ubisoft announcing NFTs yesterday? Uh, we talked about that yesterday, right? Guess what they just announced on Twitter? That they have removed. <laughs> Fucking cowards. So they removed the uh, NFTs from, uh... Well, they never put them in the game in the first place, but they've removed all the announcements for it. 
<laughs> apparently, according apparently according to this article, even though you can't see this likes on YouTube anymore, apparently the YouTube video announcing the NFT got 95% disc like rate. As is your mother. Fucking hell. You have my word. You can't even see the dislike, and yet they still got mass dislike for it. <laughs> Seems I see your influence. Everywhere. Let's go. <laughs> You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always. TG Ubisoft. Oh. I know there's no sound. I accidentally Welcome unplugged the stick there. Yeah, exactly, demon. Entities are like so fucking dumb. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I mean, I kind of understand That's cryptocurrency. I don't believe in cryptocurrency, but I understand it, at least. But NFTs are just I like... Have done this without you. Stupid. When we meet again, <laughs> I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise. I especially love when the people that are into NFTs try to defend it and say, Oh, it's good for artists and all that, but like... Come on now. First of all, if you cared so much about the artist behind the art, why didn't you commission art before NFTs were a thing? You know, to literally support them. You know, like paying them to do some artworks for you, so you would have literally exclusive art to yourself. You know, that's not a hard thing to do. Or... Or... What about all the NFTs that are literally stolen art, but some people have just claimed they own themselves? <laughs> like... Or that have been made into NFTs. Alright, let's get this, uh... Flower we're missing. Always sucks when you miss one that is far away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And also one thing I didn't understand about Ubisoft NFT, like, like, because people obviously care about NFTs that they grow in value so they can make money off it. Like, what's going to happen to the value of an NFT in a video game once the game server shut down? And don't give me the bullshit that Ubisoft is going to, uh, what's it called? Is like going to keep the servers alive because there's NFTs in the game, because we all know that that is fucking... Yes, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and secondly, like, even then, I guess you could make the argument, oh, they're just gonna transfer it to the next game. Really? You, you're that naive to think they're gonna do that? <laughs> I mean, they're definitely not gonna do that. Like, as soon as that game is dead, that thing is also completely dead. Like, I don't know, it's so... I don't know, but people are really into NFTs, or the people that are really into NFTs are finding all sorts of ways to justifying it, I guess. But, I don't know, it's... I, I can't even. Oh well, let them lose their money, I guess. Let them have a valuable life lesson. Where they lose all their money. But at least it's pretty funny that Ubisoft immediately got rid of it. No. <laughs> like literally a day after. <laughs> oh, that's just that's just perfect. <laughs> Remember also when I said yesterday they probably didn't fully believe in NFTs given the fact they were releasing it in Breakpoint of all games? A game that is literally a complete flop. Like... They, I would have believed that they were actually interested in NFTs if they had added it to Rainbow Six. But they added it to Breakpoint. <laughs> how much did pay you? So I guess that goes to show how much they actually gave a shit. Won't kill us all!
Thank you. Where is he? This is the fifth time you're seeing Redmore today. He's going after Redmaw. Really? Oh, wait, yeah, Redmore is part of uh, the dual cup, I guess. <laughs> That's probably why. Oh no, my mount is blocking Solana. He doesn't want to share credit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't know she could get blocked by the mount. Went after Redmore. 10 out of 10 AI pathing right in there. No, he knew we needed to unseat a cease. A 30 second time save. Did Fleur say he had a 30 second time save? I think my bet is he has found a way to skip Talana here and go straight to Redmo. Uh, I'm not sure where season Redmo Wait, you don't have to wait for Talana? That would probably be around 30 seconds. Now that I think about it, that's probably what he found. There he is. Redmo. Solana stuff. If I were to put my money on it, it's probably what Skippy's found for the cup. <laughs> Could be something else, but it seems like an obvious no. thing you would look for a skip for. And would save probably 30 seconds. Is it weird that even endgame I found the moles tougher than the T-Rexes? Not really. I don't think uh, Thunder Joe isn't necessarily the hardest thing. I did a poll on YouTube where people said uh, uh, where I asked between the four toughest machines and people voted that Fireclaw was the hardest and then I think they said it. then they said Stormberg, Stormberg, Rockbreaker and then Thunder Joe. So. I think that was how the poll turned on. I remember Thunderjaw finished last and Fireclaw was definitely number one in terms of what people considered the toughest. What did you other if you ah. Till we everyone needs a splash of color. All right, time for some menuing. Uh Behemoth Heart we don't need. Yeah, we don't need that. And then buy. Let's talk it over. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish. By the cherished so, brother. If you could show me, and son of Kalavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and yeah, um, Scorchers could be on the list, but I was more considering like the big, the biggest machines. And to follow. Probably could have added Scorchers to the boat. Look. Thank. You. Might do another poll for it. <laughs> it's always fun to do polls on YouTube. <laughs> You get so many people voting on it, and yeah, you, sometimes you learn some interesting things when you poll people on something. But a lot of times it's kind of predictable <laughs> what the outcome will be, but oh well. The longer this split with the Shadow Karja lasts, the more... Oh, you're no then yes 
I will. All right, folks, say on some more. Zero, so all the old ones we don't need. Fine. Might be a little short on chats. I need to sell an outfit. Oh, perfect. Done shots. Wow. Uh, there we go. Another eight. I'm missing a machine. What? Oh, I'm still missing a grazer. Fuck. Ah, oh, I never. I guess there wasn't any grazers. I was close to her at the end. Uh, so let's quickly fix that. Actually, before I do, let's finish robbing the rich. I will. I don't. Because we're not going to get close to rubbing the witch again. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about, uh... Completely forgot about grazers. But really good menuing, that should save us a lot of time. He's doing UH. Ooh! Exciting. There we go, that should count. Yep. Let me just make sure. Yes. Okay, we got everything. Let's finish the game. Let's finish strong here. Let's see how much time we're gonna cut. Because we wasted a lot of time on this split yesterday. Because we were missing some stuff. I guess in the end game when I realized I hadn't scanned the gracer, there were. I guess in the entire end game you don't really see gracers in this run, or you don't really get close to them. Our uh, speed run. Are you talking about how the timer pauses? Uh, Plegas, a uh, fellow speedrunner of the game, uh, made a tool that uh, can detect whenever there's a loading screen, and it then pauses the timer. It uses the virtual camera in, in uh, OBS to see when there's a loading screen, more specifically. I sent a messenger to the claim. I'm glad she would tell him what- A lot only. Uh, if I'll re- I'll meet Era, take it hours. <clears throat> That's pretty cool too for console speedruns, which is really awesome for this game, so we can have a more fair leaderboard. Um, you know, where it's not too hardware dependent as to what your time is. Um, the only issue for PC runs, it does use a good amount of CPU when you use uh, when you use the load remover, and the game itself is also kind of CPU intensive, so so some people struggle a bit to use it on PC. But yeah, we use the same load remover for PC runs. People have tried to make a load remover for um, uh, using memory on PC, but. Nobody has been successful in making one yet, because apparently the memory stuff is a bit weird in this game. Just play on the lowest setting? I mean, 
You could, yeah. <laughs> I think at one point uh, Ozzy even suggested he thought it was faster to do lowest lowest settings, but it'll be just what But last I saw him do a PC run, he was running on the highest settings, so on ultra settings, so I don't think he believes that anymore. It looks like a wooden bracket, not very strong. Goddamn Ozzy and his 3080 PC, able to run this game smoothly at highest settings, 120 FPS. Not jealous at all. What happened? Having a blast like that since the liberation. From the clutches of the shadow guard. Could you spare a moment to speak? There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. The tracks lead inside. I don't know how, but Ozzy managed to both get the 3080 and the PS5 on release. Did find a way into the palace. Or like for release date on for both of them. I don't know what deal he made with the devil, but that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the update today should actually help a bit with it. Wish I could be there to see. I guess I didn't think about that, but you're right. Somebody who has uh, somebody who's been struggling to run the load remover should probably try it out then with the new patch. Or somebody else could also just chest if there's a big CPU difference. Shot, let's go. Good shooting. I'm not really technical at all with PC stuff, so if I say something stupid, just know that I am quite inept when it comes to PC. <laughs> you know, I've been a console gamer all my life. I'm used to just plugging it into a TV and it works, okay? Well, I... It's... Please. He... With an... It's... It was weak. I'm trying... Marie... Perhaps... Yes. And have... Now. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Yeah, yesterday I was missing the oh, rabbit skin and it took me a bit to get a rabbit skin. So that's why I saved a lot of time on shadow items. Anything unfinished? All right. Time for the obscure chat. It's been a strong here. Fires, perhaps massing forces for the long march to the city gates. That's not worth smoke. And what is it? The end, or how it begins, anyway.
Deathbringers you spoke of? To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do what she says! <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically I probably should use Apple stuff. All of you, be ready to but if I want things to just plug in on work, but... I like Windows too much. <laughs> hey, Seth. <laughs> but to be fair, you can easily get many like Windows PCs where it's also just no. plug in and it just Rally works. Send to be fair, <laughs> no. with a guy giving it too time. much thought. He will cut you down. Not this time. <sighs> All right, let's finish it. You have vexed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. There's the scan the way. Why do you fight? Where's he going? Let's get a good rinse to Venser. For Meridian! Hold the line! Where do you need me? Take up a chance on the platform. What is the spread, dude? I don't know why I went for that, but whatever. <laughs> Yo, Viola, thank you so much for the five month breeze up. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the continued support. I hope you're doing well. Could have been better. Incoming! 
So if we get a good Hades, it looks like it's gonna be uh, 525. Very nice. I'll definitely take that. All things considered in this run. Those things could have been scary to fight. Uh, yep. <laughs> Aloy. 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 Just imagine when Forbidden West of one of them gets activated and we have to fight it. <laughs> The others, are they? No, no, wounded, but alive mostly. The machines blast. I don't know how much we would be able to actually they fight it, but I'd imagine it would probably be more like try to climb on top of it and disable it somehow. <laughs> like God of War style. <laughs> Still one enduring victory multiplayer? Who doesn't want that? I'd be so dope. Either you would probably need a very powerful weapon to fight the Horus, or it would be something like Aloy has to climb on top of it and disable something on it. This is where I belong, Aloy. Like the Covenant ship? Yeah, yeah kind of. Death screen right there. Yeah, it could be kind of like Shadow of the Colossus stall. They must have gotten through the defenses. There is Vanguard. I have to get up there. Oh, nice climbing game. <laughs> yeah, but call a uh, horrors is not a new machine, so it's not gonna be part of a cauldron. Not 525, but it doesn't matter. 526, exactly. <laughs> GG. At last, Hades fight could have been better. I guess the climbing too. But there we go. Got a solid 100% main game time. GG. I'm pretty happy with this run, not gonna lie. It's definitely not perfect. There were a good amount of mistakes and all that, and surely I could do a lot better if I did more runs, but... I'm pretty happy with it. This is not a category I really want to focus too much on, so... I just wanted to make sure I got a new... Uh, what's it called? I just wanted to make sure I got a run with the new route and all the new strats that we had for the full hundo run. Um, that I've been grinding recently. So... Just wanted to make sure I got, like, a good run in this category, and, uh, I would say this definitely is. A lot of people ask me if I think sub-5 is possible. Eh, I don't think sub-5 is doable. Sub-5-10, sure. But sub-5 seems a bit like a stretch. If you went all out crazy and just purely grinded this category, maybe you could do it, but I don't know. It seems like a bit of a stretch. But I'm pretty happy with it. Very solid run. 
who knows maybe one day i'll come back and do another run of this i don't know we'll see uh maybe if somebody beats my time but again nobody else runs hundo so <laughs> so we'll probably stand for a while but uh i got all the categories to focus on so yeah gg Ninja, thank you so much for the 800 on one bits or 420, uh, 69 and 312. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and thanks for all the GGs, by the way. We still have to confirm that it's 100. percent As with any 100 percent run, we have to uh, uh, what's it called? We have to show the progression. But uh, I like to let these cutscenes play out before we go to it. It's always satisfying to watch these cutscenes after a long run. After any run, really. <laughs> but uh, especially after a long run. But, um, I mean, I checked the percentage counter before we started the final quest, so unless something bugged out, it should say 100%. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this time. Like I said, I didn't have a specific time goal in mind for this category. I just wanted to get a solid run with the new route and the new strats. And that's exactly what this run is, so here we are. <laughs> it's good enough for me. Then we'll move on and focus on other categories. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire. And, uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so... She Does it feel weird? Uh, it feels a little her, weird when you uh, just go straight to Greyhawk when you had that part of the run, but other than that, not really. In the pine tree. Query. I guess towards the what end of the run, you you're feel? kind of missing the Stragabo, so you can do a lot of extra damage. Sure? <laughs> I remember yelling, other than that, but I it's care. fairly similar. And that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. Pretty solid RNG in this run as well. She said it was I a little bit annoying that I didn't get a damage curl said, in the very beginning, but other than that, it was pretty solid RNG as well. If you don't make the world better. Not, that's like the only you RNG thing I guess I can complain about. Gameplay-wise, pretty that. solid. Had a few dumb mistakes here and there, but other than that, pretty you good. Often tell stories of your mother, but you are like I said, I'm sure if I grinded it out, I could get sub 510, but time. eh. I'd rather do other categories. <laughs> So, it is what it is. If you Hopefully you guys enjoyed this run, though. <laughs> what would you have wished for him or her? But like I said, still have to I verify that it's hundred percent because those are the rules. To be. But let's just enjoy the cutscene here. Hey, Levi. How did the runs even. go? I just got another record. But with enough compassion. Improved my hundred percent main game record to five twenty six. Just a little bit. Which is like one of the secondary 100% records. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Has that body still conserved? Either the focus is just more. showing what their body would look like or the suit she's wearing is so airtight that it kind of prevents it from decomposing i know there's a word for it but i forgot the word for it uh i guess she's technically mummified in the suit yeah i guess it's just mummification that's the word I'd imagine that's probably why it's not decomposed. Hmm. 
All right. So let's check here if it's 100% just to confirm it. Because it is a rule when you do 100% run, once you are done, you have to open the menu here and show game progression. And as you can see, it says 100%, so it's official, it's a world record. 100% in the main game, in 5 hours and 26 minutes. GG. And of course, just for fun, it says 0% in Frozen Walls, <laughs> in case you were wondering. But uh, this run, you don't have to do Frozen Walls. And in case somebody wants to see the statistics of the run here, you can see them right here. There's also a good example that the in-game timer is completely pointless for speedruns. <laughs> Let's scroll down here. Because I'm sure somebody wants to see this. That's a really bad headshot to kill radio in, uh, on human enemies, but oh well. <laughs> Five campfires, I guess the five campfires are the ones we quick save at. <laughs> oh well, GG though, GG.